Oh, that's awful. There you Vincent, go. Vincent, we, we started the recording right after Vincent's uh, dad pun. <laughs> there might be more. Oh, oh God. Everybody be ready. I saved about 10 of them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I could make a comment, but I'm I'm too busy trying to screw in the screw screw into my glasses here that I've just got it just right. So I'm just very excited about it. But I might be able to do this. So are we at time yet? Yep, we're at time. I guess the only other thing I have to show off while I have all your attention. A gourd. Oh, oh nice. Where'd you get that? I'm ready early. Huh? It's a jardale. I thought it was is, a gourd. Is well, Gatsby doing the category tonight? No. Isn't the Jardale some kind of some kind of horse? It's like a, it's a pumpkin. pumpkin. That's a Clydesdale. <laughs> well, we're gonna have a variety of pumpkins. <laughs> I thought he meant uh, who's doing pumpkin varieties. <laughs> <It's laughs> <funny>, Debra. <laughs> so in a few weeks or whatnot, it will become a pie. Oh. Gatsby makes the best pumpkin? pumpkin pies. He makes really good pies just in general. Yeah. Oh, Jarsdale uh, pies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just come here for the humor. <laughs> Good. Hi, Gail. Gail's here for the humor. Cool. Okay. I just learned something about science the other day. That, uh, oh, what was really? That? What did you learn about science the other day, Vincent? It's a method. It's a scientific study that claims fertility is hereditary. If children don't have children, chances are you won't either. Yeah, that's true. People who don't have children tend to not pass on the genes. Hey, stop laughing at these things. <laughs> <laughs> Just hold it in. You can do it. Romero, did you guys finally get the date for your, um, what you guys are going to do at Triangle Skeptics? Uh, yeah, it's going to be uh, October 28, I believe. Yes. Yeah. And, okay, uh, yeah, I do have it written down. Yeah. And uh, me and Faith are not going to be there. So the rest of the group's going to do it. We'll, we'll be in California at that, at that time. And you're going where in California? We're going to uh, Yosemite, uh, Sequoia, and then uh, San Francisco. Mm. Oh. Sort of you're coming right by here. Kind of, yeah. sort of, huh? Yeah, we can visit you. If I'm not in North Carolina at your event, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't think I will be in that weekend. That's that's right after PsyCon. I'll have just come home from PsyCon probably. I thought it was pronounced Yosemites. Yosemite? Mm -hmm. Yosemite. <laughs> All right. So let's go over here to the um, thing I heard from Robin. She's swimming. She'll be here soon. Paula said she'll be here around 8. And so, well, let's get started. So um, let's put you in your room so that you can at least get started with your um, creating of your Don't forget about careful that. names. Don't forget about the announcement. I will, I'll take care of it whenever I get more people here. Oh, okay. All okay, right. so let's see. Susie's gonna be first. So Susie and Terry need to be in the same room, right? Okay. Please. Okay, so Susie and Terry are going to be in room one. Just the two of us. That'll be nice. <laughs> yeah. The two. yeah. And then whenever it's time for me to, yeah, I will be. Mm -hmm. Deborah, you know you're doing a category tonight, right? I'm ready. Ooh. And Carl, you know you're doing a category tonight, right? Yep. So Carl, you need to be in room three and cindy you know you're doing a category right yes okay and kevin you know you're doing a bonus right yep on pumpkins right it won't be cats and dogs and cartoons okay i think cartoon I got something boring though i got, the, got too many cartoon pumpkins something boring it'll be a tunneling machine ah. <laughs> don't you start carl Oh yeah. Okay, so that famous fictional yeah. worms. Yeah. Come here. Okay. Let's move her down to there. Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two. The chicken. 
<laughs> Avi said, uh, I don't like he a might show up, somebody guys. Grease a squeaky wheel. If I, if I sat outside, I could have bugs come, but I haven't sat outside this year. I'm no, letting the chickens out that. again. Are they, oh, can they go out now? I'm letting them out. Yeah, I think there's very little risk right now. Maybe when the fall migration starts, but right now I think they're fine. There's no other birds around and they're happy. They're laying more eggs. Well, there you go. <laughs> oh, they're much happier. <laughs> Okay, so I think I'm going to make this one little change. Do you sell eggs or eat them or anything? Or what? Do you eat the eggs as well? or? Uh, we eat what eggs we want. And then when I have extra, I give them to friends or my son or the local food bank. Oh, cool. They and the have food a bank egg. is very, very glad. You go to the, you go to their uh, her house. It's just piles of eggs sitting there to. <laughs> That's away. true. Okay. But now it's piles of zucchini too. Oh, I've got so much zucchini. Uh, I know. <laughs> All right, Ben. Let me see where am I going to put you. I will put you right over there. They're just leaving right now. So you just got here just in time. Ben. All right. Thank you. Well, the few times that I have been involved in choosing a name, I was on teams that didn't have something picked out. And I was like, well, aren't we supposed to be picking a name? You guys just said, they were just kind of talking to each other. I'm like, aren't we supposed to be ch picking a name by now? And they're like, well, let's do this, let's do that. So I don't know, I think it'd be really awful at this. Some people have them in mind the team name for a while, I think. I know Caspian would say to me every once in a while, there's a team name, I'm gonna write that down kind of stuff. <laughs> You see, you see something in the news, you come up with a pun or something, then you, you kind of forget about it, but if it, Absolutely. You know, if it's like fresh that. in your mind. I got a genius oh. idea for a team name. I think I'll say that. <laughs> did the queen play, <laughs> did the queen play Wordle? You said the word, I'm going to have to ban you now. <laughs> you said the Wordle? Our, our what? You Just do don't next. tell us your score. Just don't tell us your score. Just, we're gonna just, we're gonna call you Alan Two Guest Steiner. <laughs> yeah, how about that? You know, it, it's no, that's like, a, that is a no. That's a rarity. That was a that was. I a just rarity. don't under, You know, Wordle's fine. I understand that. I just don't understand the sharing. That just seems so bizarre to me. It's, it's egotistical thing. People want to no, say, "See how small no, I am." I even put it when it's a bad one, and it's oh, another yeah, level too. of the game. But you're special, <laughs> Karen. You no, would do that. No. But, no. but you also can try and figure out what they guessed. It's another layer of the puzzle. Yeah, figure you can out what see. your friends guessed. Yeah. Oh, come on. You guys got to have better things to do with your time. It no. takes five minutes. Yeah. How, how do we so and to share well, it we, and to post yeah. it and to talk about it. Does anybody it play the other games? There's, there's a whole bunch of other games with it, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't I have play, a New York Times. I spelling bee every day. Yeah, spelling bee. I don't talk about Wordle. I tried spelling bee. Well, Susan, if you stop talking about it, they would drop the topic much sooner. But you know what my favorite is? Thursday night trivia. Thank you, Karen. You need to make a nice that one. Karen is, we, Karen we, is, we should sell that for a million dollars to the New York Times. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's it. Well, they, they only knew. All right. So We're here we are. Out. Can I have your all your attention, please? Thank you very much. It is uh, our game 125. I will ask your team names in just a couple minutes, but I do have an announcement to make. It's a, it's a pretty sad one. Um, at the beginning of uh, the time when we started this morning, it's this morning at six, six o'clock when I signed on at six o'clock, I noticed that uh, we had somebody else show up whose name was on the screen, but the person who was on the Zoom screen wasn't somebody I recognized. And um, 
so a few of us were here, uh, just maybe four of us were here at the time, but um, uh, Larry's son has let us know that Larry died. <gasps> Oh, no. wow. They don't know why. It was probably a heart attack. Um, oh my god! Uh, mm. But yeah, so he was he was pretty emotional. The son started to cry when he told us, and I guess his daughter was there too at the same time. But wow. it, it just happened a couple of days ago, and I think it's really important. Karen and I were just talking about this off off screen. How important. Um, how important we all are to each other. And I think it's important that even though a lot of us have not met each other in person, it's still, it's, it's an, it's a, it's an honor that you guys come and play with us each week. I really appreciate it. It's so fun for something that I uh, meant to do maybe once, maybe twice. <clears throat> it's, uh, you know, really nice that you guys show up time after time. And I plan on continue doing this until we get to a point where, you know, we jump the shark which we haven't done yet and that's kind of cool and it, it, it was quite an honor to have larry's son come over and and go to all the trouble while they're planning his funeral and they're <clears throat> all the things yeah. larry's you know that's necessary a couple days after a death is um to come over and make it a point to show up at six o'clock sign on to zoom to our account and come in and make sure to tell us he said because Larry looked forward to Thursday night so much to hang out with us. He really Aww. appreciated, you know, what we were doing. He enjoyed it a lot. I told Adrian, um, she was pretty shocked. She's got a really bad head migraine right now. So she's taking a nap and she said, how do you know these things? How did you know this before I knew it? And then she said, she looked at the clock and realized it's trivia time and she didn't realize it was that time. So um, you know, because you're psychic. Yeah, I said, well, you don't realize how connected I am. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, oh, I forgot. <laughs> but uh, she had never met him in person. I don't think anybody here had met him in person, but it's really neat. We only get to see a little bit of your lives, but we do really do see a lot more when you think about it. And we got to see Larry. Remember, he went on vacation just a couple weeks ago yeah. with his family. And he had his cousin come and sit and play trivia with us. And she stayed, she says, I think they said they were going to stay a round or two. And I think they stayed the whole time. I never did find out her name. His second door on my team. Yeah. And it's just so neat to, to know that we got to share a little bit of that one person's one life. Good, I don't know. Good him. Thing. I, I hope when his son was here, you told him that it's on YouTube. We can go back and watch some of the things. We, and see. we forgot. I didn't really think about that until yeah. afterwards. So because you know, it's like a, you've documented some friendship and the fun we had with him, so his son probably can go back and watch. Yeah, it so the family point. could, yeah, if they want. I, I'll reach out to Adrian. She's probably got his contact information, and um, maybe some way she'll get no. that. But let's give him some time. But I think they would yeah. have a, a at some point. Yeah, at some point in the future, they dad can look at just it. have a good old time week after week, you know. And uh, but he he wanted to let us know. The son wanted to let us know because he knew how important it was to his dad. And as Karen just said, you know, this is a community and we don't have to meet in person to know how important we are to each other. Uh, even when we annoy each other to pieces. Uh, <laughs> that's what friends do. Yeah, that's what friends do. And we are friends. And I really appreciate that you guys come and play. I would never have ever have thought that we would be doing something like this. 120 five games 125 games later can you believe it? we're almost we're in year three so anyway 100 I wanted to make years that from announcement. now um, 100 years from now uh some will watch this on youtube oh yeah and hi we're, people we're all, of the future we're all gone by then larry was on uh whose team last week he was here last week wasn't he no two two or three weeks ago was the last time he played oh yeah he wasn't here last week he was on um i don't think he played the last two games oh yeah, sees uh, game one twenty three on the uh, not last week, with the week before he played. If I have written down here, Larry and cousin <laughs> he played on the team with Vincent, Kyle, Kevin, and Gail. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, Larry was part of two groups that I'm a part of, or was a part of. Um, he was a part of um, the humanists uh, group in calgary as well as the atheist society of calgary which the atheist society of calgary has now changed their name because of some internal stuff 
I won't go into it. It's boring. Um, drama. The, oh, it was. Yeah, I know. It was definitely drama. What? Um, oh. and so the I don't I know that uh, Adrian does can have access to his information, but I'm not sure. Uh, I think she's still part of the board. Yeah, I'm sure she, no, she's not part of the board, but she will know how to get a hold of this family. Yeah. But I, is old, I, you know. I am part of the board, so I could go to the board and ask them if I can give you the information or something like that if you want it. Well, somebody's going to end up needing to make an announcement probably to the to the organization and also probably to you know, I don't know why prob probably just tell the family you know, how we really Um. Yeah, I don't know how that's going to, I don't know how that's going to work. So, well um, anyway, so let's So, so, so the, the name of the last team Larry was on See you later, oh, no. alligator See you oh later, no! Alligator. What? What was it? Yeah. See you later, alligator. Oh wow! <laughs> later, alligator. Wow! It's kind of interesting because I I have like a dad joke that I was going to read, but if anybody oh. wants to hear it, all right, tell us. Tell us. It's quite long, but I think it'll put a smile on people's faces. Okay, I'm ready for a smile. So, okay, a man goes to a funeral and asks the widow, mind if I say a word? She says, please do. The man clears his throat and says, plethora. The widow replies, thanks, that means a lot. Another man comes up and says, mind if I say a word too? She says, please do. The man clears his throat and says, bargain. The widow replies, Thanks. That means a great deal. Another, another, another man comes up and asks for the same privilege. The widow thanks him, saying that would be very nice. The man clears his throat and says, Earth. The widow replies, Thank you. That means the world. <laughs> oh. I apologize to anybody watching. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. And it was like, well, I don't know. It's sort of oh. like that puts a smile on people's faces. Did, right. did, didn't we make a rule last week that that jokes lose a point for the team? <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> well, who's did a category on your team? Dad jokes, Isn't Vincent remember? on your team? He is not on my team. No, He's on I, team no. three. So let's find out the team names. Um, all right. So I know that that was a little bit of a downer, but actually I felt like it was actually it's it's actually an honor that we were they would take the trouble it, out of it to i would think it. so yeah I, I appreciate that i think that was really something else all right so let's get to our team names we have team number one that will be led by Susie, and you guys are going to be on your best bestest behavior because we absolutely have to have the nicest people in the world for team for Susie's time today after today when she does team her her um, thing again in the future, forget it. So, <laughs> team number one, your team name is. Yes, yeah, so we are Mazel Tough Honorary Goyim Squad. Oh, nice, Mazel Tough Honorary Goyim Squad. Okay, they're, they're selling they're Goyim selling means. the Jewish space lasers thing with has that Mazel Tough on it and Goyim that's, Squad. So there that's, you go. That's clever. All right, so team number two, who will no longer be called team number two, unless, of course, you name yourself yeah. team number two. Deborah, Jane, Jadine, Mike, and Ron. May <laughs> I have a pillow with that Hardy's burger? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Did you guys see that Hardy's came out with a tweet saying, now that we have your attention, try one of our... Our soft pillow burgers or something uh, like that. Uh, biscuits, I think. Biscuits, yeah. Soft pillow biscuits or something like that. Yeah. yeah. Dude, that's clever. <laughs> oh. Vincent liked that one. Oh, All right. Yeah. So team number three, we have Alan, Brian, Carl, Vincent, and Karen will be joining you as well. Uh, uh, Alan had a run-in with the queen. 
Okay, does that have a story behind it? Because I think it should. Yes, it does. Um, it actually does. When we have time later, I will tell you the story. Okay, everybody remind me, we have to get the story from Larry with the Queen, maybe after our second our break. All right, team number four, Ben, Cindy, Faith and Romero, Jamie, and Kyle. What are you guys going to call yourself tonight? We are the Leaky Pens. <laughs> Jamie, Jamie, you want to give the story? Oh, the, the, the big news here is um, all the pens that's leaking from King Charles. And he have, got into uh, a fit. He had, 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 had a big public hissy fit over all the leaky pens that dribbled all over his hands the other day. He has a pen fetish, apparently, and he doesn't like them to not be perfect. Yeah, so no, I, can, not, I can understand. I can sympathize with him. <clears throat> and those leaky pens are quite irritating. I've had too many, had to deal with too many in my lifetime. Rob, you need Turner. Say that I have blue, blue right there from a leaky pen. Right <laughs> he will, we'll give him a break. His mother died just recently. You have a leaky teller as well. <laughs> and leaks. WikiLeaks. WikiLeaks. Okay, so uh, oh. team number five, the team that is going to be team number five <laughs> is Bob, Caspian, Kevin, and Peggy. Who are you guys tonight? Getting the wrong answers is part of our strategic plan. <laughs> <laughs> Only when I'm on your team. Getting the wrong answers is part of our strategic plan. All right. So tonight we have game 125. Thank you for joining you joining with me on the 15th of March of 2022. We have uh, season three, episode 16, DSC says. We have tonight playing for the winning round of Game number 125, which we will never ever have again, is 125, they say, is Mazel Tuck, Honorary Goyam Squad versus May I Have a Pellet with that Hardy's Burger versus Alan Had a Run In with the Queen versus the Leaky Pens versus Getting the Wrong Answers is part of our strategic plan. Who, 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 who? is going to be the winner tonight. At this moment, we're all, you're all equal. Let's get started. Our leaders tonight are Susie, Deborah, Carl, Cindy, and the bonus is Kevin. So let's get started. So Susie, you have been, uh, been helped with uh, your, with, uh, with by uh, Terry, right? No, 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 let me explain. No, no, no. Okay. Yeah, no, I told her, no, no, but what she just emailed me the questions and I'm going to post them one at a time. Like I haven't even read them. I'm just okay. Gonna that's what I did the other day. It's as easy. is. And then she's going to read them. And I don't know the questions or the answers or anything. And the okay. answers she's going to email me when we come back so I can play. Fantastic. Okay. Remember, everybody, be in your best behavior. This is Susie's first time doing this. You ready, Susie? Yep. Oh, for a second, my screen went completely What's blank. our category? <laughs> Carl's going to be in charge of muting us. Okay. The category is, uh, this group of questions are about psychology, neuroanatomy, physiology, and mental health. Oh, dear. <laughs> okay. <Wow. laughs> Much continues to be discovered about the inner workings of the mind and how the brain works through neurochemistry. Hopefully this will be fun and informative and not too taxing to your neurons. Okay, so Carl, <laughs> can you mute us? Ready? Here's what I- Susie, make sure you unmute yourself. I just, yeah, I was going to say, wait a minute. I talked. I wasn't muted. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Everybody get muted. Okay. Ready? Yep. Okay. The DSM, D as in David, S as in Sam, M as in Mary, is the Bible, according to the American Psychiatric Association, also called the APA, and is used for all approved psychological diagnosis, justification, and billing. It's officially called A. Department of Social Medicine, B, Diagnostic and Statistical Manual, C, DreamWorks Sony Movie, D, Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Health Disorders, E, 
death strike mercenaries. Did you post that, Terry? Yep. Okay, cool. All right. Number two, addictions, sometimes related, substance related and addictive disorders as defined by the DSM also include non-substance related disorders. While there are multiple types of these activity addictions, that is non-chemical, there's only one that is formally recognized by the most recent DSM-5, what is this activity addiction? <clears throat> Three, this question is based on information according to the National Alliance of Mental Illness, also called NAMI, and the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration, called SAMHSA. It's a review of the incidence of certain psychiatric disorders from 2016 to 2020. And it's a matching, match the diagnosis to the percentage, prevalence percent percentages. So there's major depressive episode, anxiety disorders, post-traumatic stress disorder, schizophrenia, co-occurring substance use disorder, mental illness. And the way it showed up on here, you have to match um, the letters to the numbers. So they don't go together with those um, substances, those different diagnoses. Is that clear? Didn't show up like I. So what's going on with E with the and IT thing? What is that? Yeah, that, that was supposed to be less than 1%. I don't know what that is. Less than, what, okay. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Is that Google Docs thing? <laughs> Probably, it is. It's Google Docs. She and it's I go a, back and it's, forth. It's HTML if anyone's really interested, but such is life. We have this problem every week on Mondays because she and I do another meeting together and it's always an interesting. <clears throat> okay. Don't use Google Docs. No. Well, yeah. Number four. This is about neuroanatomy. Okay. The beginning is history. The first recordings of brain anatomy and function are found from 335 BC by the Greek philosopher Aristotle, who thought that the brain was simply a radiator that kept all important heart from overheating. Around 170 BC, Roman physician Galen suggested the brain's four ventricles, fluid-filled cavities, were the seat of complex thought and determined personality and bodily functions. Fast forward, and in the blank century, the first suggestion that electrical impulses were important in the nervous system, Italian Luigi Galviani showed that electrical electricity applied to nerves that could make muscles contract. And you have to pick what century that was, or what year. I guess it's not century, it's a year. I never get that straight. Mm -hmm. So a little history with your... Uh, neurophysiology. Okay, not until 1906, when neuroanatomist Santiago Ramon y Cajol and Camilo Golgi were awarded the Nobel Prize for identifying the nerve cells or the neurons are the building blocks of the brain and showing there are many different types. As a result of his discovery in 1929, Hans Berger invented blank a device that measures electrical activity in the brain. Today, this is used to determine the location and extent of brain injury and even brain death. What is the complete name of his discovery, not the acronym? Hi, Avi. Our little Hi. Stop. Let her finish your questions and then we'll then you can tell us some what's what, about your thing. Okay. Six, the CDC Kaiser Permanente study was one of the largest investigations of childhood abuse and neglect and household challenges resulting in later life, health, and well-being. 
The original study was conducted at Kaiser Permanente from 1995 to 1997 with two waves of data collection. Over 17,000 health maintenance organization members from Southern California receiving physical exams completed confidential surveys regarding their childhood experience and current health status and behaviors. Today, this assessment provides a framework for treatment in identification of and approaches to solution resolution of childhood trauma and improved mental health. There's an acronym for this assessment, and it's also the name of a card in the deck of playing cards. Seven, one of the parts of deep brain remembers and controls our emotions. It remembers trauma from even before birth as fear conditioning. It contributes to how we automatically respond to situations in the present day based on our emotional conditioning from our past. What is this fear mongering part of our brain? <clears throat> The autonomic nervous system has three parts. These three parts control fright, flight, reaction, and calming controls. Name them. What drug was introduced in the 1950s as the first psychotropic? It was a milestone in the treatment of psychosis, anxiety, confusion, without having to use restraints. This drug is still widely used today. Medically or recreationally? Medically. Ten, according to the Rolling Stones, what drugs were introduced as mother's little helper? This class of drugs was first used on soldiers in the 1950s. The addiction to these drugs is still an issue today. There are many, several different names, but they're all part of what class of drugs? <clears throat> is that it? What, what's, nope. that, what's that last part with 1950s, number 39, what's that? All right. I, I typed in the way well, it's supposed to be that just the 1950s. This is something that happens when word goes to Google Docs. It that just is supposed to be the 1950s. Forget the 39. Okay. Okay. okay so I have a, an objection to one question. I'll bet Susan knows which one it is. Uh, okay. We'll with it later. I, I have a bonus. There's just two more. I wasn't Ooh. done. Okay. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah, go for it. Okay. What commonly used drug induces sleep, but four to six hours later actually becomes a stimulant or interrupts deep sleep? Everybody knows that one. And I don't know, this last one's kind of long. Do you think I should do this, Terry? Uh, I don't know. There's a lot of numbers, so it's going to be wonky. <laughs> it's, it's okay if you want to skip it. It doesn't matter. You Just gave skip it. You already okay. gave it one bonus. Okay. So the one that, that uh, Rob's going to have a problem with um, is the one that has multiple answers. That's correct. You should ask, but, name one of them, not name them all three. Okay, but we do have a bonus question. We can just, just skip it if you don't have time. Okay. I'm here so, to learn. I'm yeah, here to learn. Fine. So Terry if, should have known. We don't ask multiple questions. No, did, she did no. not preview my questions. I did not preview. Anyway. Let's say hello to Avi, who's here from Hi, Avi. Avi. What time what? is it? In, what time is it in Germany? Where's Avi? He's not on my screen. The little sprout at the bottom of my screen. No, he's on my second screen. Hello, Avi. You're, you're on. Muted. You're on mute. We just get to stare at him. Uh, Hi, Avi. <laughs> Hi. What time it's is it over there? Eight a.m. What? Uh, it's four twenty a.m. Jeez. Wow. Sorry, I'm. I'm in my. I have to be in my hallway because the um. <laughs> Wi-Fi in my apartment has cut out, um, but there's Wi-Fi in the hallway. How nice um, of you to oh my God. Of course there is. To say hello. <laughs> how how was your how was the um, European Skeptic Congress in in uh, Vienna? I'm so jealous. Yeah, it was it was really good. I met a lot of really cool people. Um, uh, so 
Uh, a couple of them live near a mathematics museum in, in Germany. So they're going to, they've invited me and uh, Annika to, um, and I guess Annika's husband, I don't know his name. Scotty. Um, uh, Donnie, you said? Scotty. Scotty, yeah, um, to, to come visit them and we're gonna go see the, the museum. Um, and um, uh, I've convinced uh, Pontus to come to the um, the Zooms that I hold on S the SGU SGU folks, like the the not, not the actual SGU people, but the, like the uh, Discord. So, um, and uh, everyone was really cool. Sounds fun. About how many people showed up? Um, I would say um, now, given that I'm not great at estimating numbers, um, uh, I so maybe like 40 or so 50 maybe oh very small yeah i mean it was also a very small menu yeah but it's um beautiful yeah so it could have been a lot bigger a lot more people it's just i have <laughs> i'm very bad at estimating numbers my favorite talk was this one by uh, florian well, i just have the window open florian a, a abner or agner or something um, it was, uh, um, he, he's somebody, I think he would be a, a great um, guy to have give like talks at like a skeptic, you know, um, everyone was, but was, like, he, he's very, very charismatic. Great talk was about, I uh, was told why, why should we trust in science? Uh, and like, he, he was, he was a philosopher of science and he, he is a lot about like, okay, what is the history of this philosophical thoughts about science and why do we know what we know in science? And um, the, the kind of the ideas of going from, okay, for a while they, um, these, uh, there were a bunch of philosophers who tried to um, show that we could prove things, we, we, sh we should find a way to prove things inductively, like, okay, we know with this, we know this, we know this, by example, therefore, we can in um, we can conclude that it's always true, but they couldn't make that work, and they were about ready to throw out all the science. And then some people came in and was like, "Well, I think it was like Carl was it Carl Popper? Maybe if, if like Mono was here, he'd know exactly who I'm talking. Who was supposed to be? Um, is Mono here? No, no. Um, or was the falsification guy? Yeah. Okay. Then yes, this is exactly who it was. Popper. Um, he was like came in and said, instead of trying to quote unquote prove things, we should disprove them. Um, and so that was really cool. Successful. Uh... So you had a good time, and you met a bunch of people I know, which is really so so amazing. Yeah. Did they? Did you tell them that you know me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and they still talk to you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's a small world, after yep. all, they say. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm so glad you went and had a good time. That was your first skeptic conference, right? Yes, it was. And it's nice that we're getting united with, um, you know, people from all over the world or meeting people from all over the world. I, I love that. Yep. And uh, in two years, they'll have another conference. So the, this is the European Skeptic Conference, you guys. It, it's a, a con conglomerate of uh, all these different organizations in Europe that are not necessarily English speaking. And then they have this one uh, council, European Skeptics Council of Organizations. And Claire Klingenberg is the person who's in charge of it. And uh, she um, organizes, they have a, like a board and they, they have the conference moves every two years. So it just happened in Vienna. And um, mm -hmm. I'm really jealous that you got to, that I didn't get to go. And I'm so glad you did get to go. And Pavel was there, one of my editors from the Czech Republic. Yeah, I think he's. I think his name's pronounced Pavel. Pavel, yeah. Well, I only see it written. I've never heard it said. I don't yeah, know. I figured. Pavel, yeah. But he's great. We gave him a scholarship mm -hmm. to attend this year. Yeah, he, he, I met him. He was very nice. Um, uh, the there this they had this pub skeptical quiz the night before. Which, which was fun. They were very, very strict about like no phones and all this kind of stuff. Oh my gosh. You should say, that's not how you play trivia. 
everybody gets to talk and ask questions and interrupt and that's and have a good laugh and tell dad jokes yeah um but uh something else i was gonna say oh well yeah um i think it's good that this is only over two years because that means that next year i can attend qed because i'm not going to do that this year because you know only uh with so much money yeah um, well you never know there might be another pandemic if you can go go I, it's, it just it's, it's, you just kind of got to make it hey i hear your dad and your uncle are here yes i think they could pony up a little bit of money for you to go to qed no why well, ask, ask for a raise yeah dad uncle ron yeah. <laughs> send him to qed yeah. No, um, you know, I, Avi, Avi can go out front and sell uh, Girl Scout cookies. Maybe he can make sell his little things. sprout on his head. Yeah, you could, people could take selfies with him. Yeah. Okay, Avi, we better let you go. You got to go back to sleep, I guess. Yep. <laughs> Thank you so All much right. for coming and saying hello. I really appreciate it. That's really nice yep. of you to come and interrupt your sleep and go out into the hallway of your apartment complex so that you can say hello to us. Yeah, yeah, good, to, good to see you. He started, so he oh, might be doing Bobby, something else. Good to see you. Hey, hey. All right. All right. All right. Good, 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 good night. Good night. Good, night. Good, night. good night. good morning. Whatever. Thanks. Au <laughs> revoir. Okay, so Susie, great questions. This is every time I think that we we're, we're going to run out of things to talk about for categories. You guys all surprise me. <laughs> so good, good, good. I, I I stalled a little bit. It was great for Avi to come in at that time, so everybody could reread their questions really quickly. <laughs> yeah, I did, and then I noticed three is also a multiple choice. Oh, shush! You got to get five right to get a point. Not hey, good. Hey. Don't do this, people. Yes. Okay. Rob's I'm here. Case. I'm here to learn. Big deal. I'm here to learn. We'll live. All right. Okay. So thank you. Thank you, Susie. Let's have um, um, somebody send us to our rooms. Wendy said she's going to be joining us. I got to see where she is. If she's here yet. Do we do we bring Wendy in? And I just don't see her. Bob's asleep. Hey, Susie, you should be able to go to whatever room you want. Oh, okay. So that's half the fun is to go in and watch. Yeah. Um, okay. And see what's been going on in the different rooms. Do you okay. know how to do that? Yeah, I got it. Okay. So if somebody ends up asking a question, I will mm -hmm. just pull you from your room and push you into the room that they're asking the question. So okay. sometimes you'll just be talking to somebody. Weird. Next thing you know, yeah. you're in another room. Okay. This looks like fun. Okay. I'll see you in All a little right. bit. All right. for the cold. You done? Yeah. Okay, hold on. I gotta get it. Ooh, hot pockets are done, huh? <laughs> All right, Susie, so go go explore the other rooms because the room you're in right now is going to be recorded. So you'll be able to listen to this recording and everything that happens in this room with Bob complaining and everything. <laughs> Rob complaining. Hot pockets? Rob, you got your hot pockets? What? Huh? Hot pockets and jello all done now. What are you okay. Talking? What are you talking? I don't know. I don't know four. Does anybody know four? I didn't even read this. Uh, I'm yet. thinking about 1600 because. No. All right. Um, it's been. Uh, yeah. Five is uh, electroencephalogram. Yeah, that's what I wrote. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Uh, six is the uh, ad Ace. adverse childhood experience exposure, yeah, uh, which is ace. Yeah. But is it? The, is there an S on the end? Is it plural? Aces. No, ace. No, there's no plural. Okay. But uh, do we have to spell it out, or? Well, you guys are smart. Or just do the acronym. It says you know, there's an acronym. You know you're acronym. muted in case okay. you're talking. Okay. Seven is uh, amygdala. Yes. Eight is uh, sympathetic, parasympathetic, and enteric. Nice. And what was the other one? Enteric. Oh, ent enteric, yeah. How do you spell that one? 
E N T E R I C. Nine is uh, Thorazine, isn't it? Uh, I think Haldol. Is it not LSD? Oh, Haldol or Thorazine, one of the two. It's not LSD? No. Uh, hmm. Boy, I'm just going to no, sit here and eat milk duds. No, psychotropic means Engineers. it was chemical restraints. So right. it's either Haldol or, but I think you're right. I think Haldol was before Thorazine, but I can't be sure. Yeah. Haldol is commonly used as a chemical restraint. And that I would, I'm using okay. as my, uh, okay. as my uh, uh, definitive. Okay. I think it's Thorazine, but we can go with Haldol. Number 10, oh. Valium. Class, is Valium a class of drug? That doesn't seem right. Benzodiazepine, benzodiazepines. Yeah. But these are those are names of drugs, not a class of the drugs. No, benzos is a class of drugs. Oh, Benzo Binnies. Didn't they call yeah. them Binnies? Benzodiazepines. See, I am paying attention. Yes, you are. Binnies. Never heard of that. I'm 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 living yeah. a very full life, Rob. I agree with Rob. It's alcohol or whoever okay. wrote that. I wrote that. Okay. Um, so the one we don't have is this one, and my wife was not liking the numbers, trying to do her best to match them, but she didn't think they made sense actually. Um, okay, but it's going to matter. Only it's, it's going to matter what the, these groups say. I'm sure. I that, think E is one. She she said she said A was eight percent. Eight. I don't see an eight percent here. Oh right. yeah. Should, should, oh yeah. No, that's oh, 8%. Yeah. Instead of oh, matching the numbers, why don't we say which is the most prevalent next, next, next? Right, yeah, yeah. And use their numbers. So oh, she she wrote this was eight percent. Okay. okay. Yeah, that's, Oops. That's good. Wrong one. But this, but like this is then she thought the next one was nine, 19. Oh, okay. Uh, again, I don't, you know, these are like difficult to figure out. So I don't know how accurate you, she You wrote 18. Well, yeah, there's at 19 up there. So yeah. Sorry, 19. Typo. Okay. Uh, and three, what was this post traumatic stress disorder? That's she, probably she, right. She, she put yeah. that one as, as 3.6. Oh, okay. Well, let me write what she wrote and then we can argue about it. Okay. And then schizophrenia, she thought was pretty rare. 1%. One, 1%. Correct. Yeah. I would say one. Yeah. And the last one was, which one's not used yet? 6.7. Yeah. Well, that's pretty good. That's does, it, does, than... it, does, does it look reasonable? I don't know. Yeah. I have no idea. Yeah. I like it. Without her input, I would have gone roughly with that. I like it a lot. Not the numbers, but the, uh, the order. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we got one for everything. This one's a wild guess because how are we going to really know within a. Well, it's going to be 16 years. or 17. 17, yeah. right. Benjamin okay. Franklin did, did it and did a lot with it, so it had to come before him. Oh, that's interesting. So, hmm, okay, good to know. We could hold a seance. You know? <laughs> there you go. I like that. I have to have some input once in a while, you know. Okay. So we got one for everything, right? We got electroencephalogram, mm -hmm. ace, amygdala. I would have not on any of these. That's good. Haldol, benzodiapapine. Oh my God. All right. What was the question for uh, 11 again? Can I see that? Oh, okay. What's the enteric nervous system? I just copy the questions and put them into a spreadsheet. I don't I don't actually sit and read them. <laughs> That's your digestive system. Oh, okay. Cool. So a lot of people you guys got 10. A lot of texts don't consider that uh, as part of the uh, autonomous autonomic nervous system. I just hadn't I didn't know that. Okay. So so what's your background in knowing all this, James? Uh, I was pre-med, well, meaning I went I was taking a lot of science classes. Okay. Uh, cool. I, and Terry, yeah. how come you know a lot of this? Uh, just from research, because I'm a volunteer at Smart Recovery. Okay. So I've done a lot of research um, in, in uh, psychology and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's interesting how, you know, a group of five people mm -hmm. could have such varying mm -hmm. amounts of uh, skills. 
in areas. The, oh, so let me look at these again. So reading these in order of prevalence, then it's anxiety. Oh, well, that makes sense. Almost all of our clients have that disorder. Then, well, this is kind of close. The next two, major depressive. Oh, yes, a lot of our clients are depressed. And then co-current yeah. substance abuse. That makes sense. Then post-traumatic stress disorder. Hmm. I think she got it right. And then schizophrenia is really, yeah, that kind of makes sense. Yeah, so my thought that. was that there would be more uh, PTSD than co-occurring. Yeah, that's the, that's a close one. But it is a close and there are only a few percent difference. So it's like, you know. Right, yeah. But I will say from, oh, God, they, yeah, they are very close. Yeah. But I don't have any uh, evidence to base that on. It's more like a perception of. Yeah, I understand. Prevalence. And same and for PTSD my wife. PTSD has to require, requires that you've experienced that kind of stress. Right. Substance abuse does not. And right, but men, yeah. Good point. And, it, and yeah, I'm ha I'm happy with it. Yeah, I am too. And and it's funny that she did this, and then I she know, put the longer name. It's like okay, I don't know why she did that. I yeah. Oh, I think I know why she did that because everybody calls the DSM. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so I looked at that twice before I thought because yeah. I said, well, DSM, that's the answer. Oh, wait a minute, the full yeah. name. Yeah, well, it says right there. Yeah, but everybody calls it the DSM. They don't. Yeah, they don't put the last part. And DSM MHD. Yeah. Yeah, and it's a five now, isn't it? Yeah. 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 And they changed the way the number was, right? Oh, did they? It's the first time they're not using a Roman numeral. Oh. It was a big. That was a big deal. I remember them talking about why. Why would that be a big deal? Because for the first four, it was always um, with the Roman numerals. Oh, they like, think humans are so stupid are that we, we wouldn't know what a V it? meant? Yeah, yeah, they thought the V would confuse people. And no, I think, think, we I meant think two the beers. reason I think the reason is the intent now is to do like you do with software, 5.1, 5.2, and you can't do that with Oh, okay, that makes sense. Oh, okay. You can't do that with Roman numerals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. That's, no, I read that. Uh, I don't know if that's true, but I read that somewhere, and that make that makes perfect sense, right? Right, because you can't do that with Roman numerals. <laughs> and why should you be limited to having to up it by a, the same thing with like any kind of software, right? They decide if it's a big enough change to. We just had iOS 16 release, but you know it was 15.2, 15.23, 15.3. Depending how many how many changes were made, they decide whether or not it's worth a full increment in the number. And with the Roman numerals, they couldn't do that. It had to be another number. That makes sense yeah okay good cool great job yeah. let's go back okay you, guys got, you got got them written down to your side oh here comes wendy she's well we'll close all the rooms and i'll go back and say well, we can talk to wendy yep. okay oh there we go good job everyone good job mostly you guys. very good I'm, I'm glad you were there hi wendy hi you guys good to see you same here. I'm sorry I'm so late. I got into a long conversation with somebody and it, I mean, it, it was a good conversation, but um, I'm glad I can still play. Good, cool. Oh yeah, of course. Were, were, they, picking, were they picking your brain about how, how you can play Wordle really well? Because you're oh, the best. Stop you're, with the Wordle. Wendy <laughs> is the best player who posts it in our team because it's like, she gets so many low scores. It's amazing. I don't know how you do it. <laughs> We're not having a Wordle conversation. Yeah, we. I know I'm it's gonna not. I'm going to throw Rob out. Well, <laughs> so then, <laughs> you said Rob before, out. why do people share it? Why do we share? Why do we look to see who what your scores were? Why don't we just announce the answer? Why does well, everybody want to know what a video uh, from Steam was? Well, it's me, well, it's but we haven't even had time to read through the questions. I know. <laughs> Hi, what? Wendy. What? Wendy's here. We were, we were on number four. We need, we need no. another half hour. No way. <laughs> yes, way. We need more time. Oh my They're God. Long questions. Fun. You didn't know this was a time trial? It's Suzanne rules. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How many people, how many teams actually need more time? More time, more time, really? more time, yeah. more time. Okay, Wait so those of you who need more time, Wait, is that go one back. team, Susan? Huh? So, no, that's two. It's at least, at least two. two. <laughs> so so Dan, so, multiple so, choice questions. You don't have to go if you don't tell, need it. Tell them how. Tell them how long they have so they know this time. Like two minutes. Just like minutes. a couple minutes, you guys. Minutes. Come on now. Got to be quick. We were done, and we had time to discuss all sorts of other stuff after. 
So Wendy, how's it going? Good. We just had we just we just had a visit from Avi in Germany at four. Oh, wait, is my team staying here then? I guess so. Yeah, we we don't need to go back. We I lost think some people. We yeah. what? Some people unless went. they unless oh it's how can we go back hard. to our room? How can you or why should you? We no, oh, we just don't what a breakout room. Well, okay. Carl went. All right, let's go back for a second. All right. What have the topics been so far this evening? We've only finished one round. We've been had a couple, They're we had a couple announcements and questions. some disruptions so that okay, yeah. Alan, we're unintended. Let's go, let's go join them. So we had um we've only just finished round we're they're just finishing the questions for round one. And and the category is psychology, neuro anatomy, mm. neuropsychological, and mental health. <laughs> is trivia about that? <laughs> yeah. oh God, of course. That's what I said. So in my so, world, there is. So she could have just, she could have just left it to the DSM and just picked stuff out of that. It would have just <laughs> Our, the team I was that on. Been I just simple. I just sat around and twiddled uh, my thumbs, and they just went boom, 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 right. boom. Through. And like, in, in what year was homosexuality removed as an illness from the DSM? See, that would have been a good question. Well, I thought it was 1988. Well, then you can write those questions. <laughs> Rob. There you go. Well, we were we were just talking about how, you know, every week I say, how could we possibly continue doing trivia? We've covered everything. I mean, my God, we have covered everything. And then somebody comes up last week. You were in here, Wendy. We did Chia Pets. <laughs> that was so funny. Which celebrities have had Which Chia celebrities pets have or... Chia Pets? And they gave us a list. It was Carl. Well, we I mean, Kyle. Them. They gave us a list of uh, people who have Chia Pets. Oh my God! You know, not it's own so chia bad. pets, but have characters. Yeah, no, no, no. They they would make it their hair. I yeah. That. yeah. Yeah. So that was what we also had a category on glass, and that when you yeah. think about it, that makes that's like very cool, you know. But you just wouldn't have thought to do a category on glass. We could have so, had three categories on glass: one on on optical glass, one on art glass, and one on commercial. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right. Oh, a, a fourth one, Gail. You could have done only the glass they use to make the, the lenses in lighthouses. Well, yeah, we've already had that one. Though. They've done, you know, and but then, every time. Yeah, there's volcanic glass. Oh, um, it, um, you haven't lived until you've walked through a volcano in Hawaii, and um, and <laughs> in addition to the black sand beaches inside the volcanoes, there's also volcanic glass, which is uh, it's black and it's beautiful. That was the first question on the category. Yeah, you got the first question. Yeah, what, the first what, question. What glass you the did. people use? That was the first question, Wendy. That was. Obsidian. About volcanic glass? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's ah. funny. <laughs> she would have done well. But it's just really weird, you know, how everybody's mind works uh, to come up with these categories. You're like, oh. Okay, we've never done one on psychology, neuroanatomy, neuropsychological, and mental health before. <laughs> well, well there you go. Yeah, I've been trying to compose a set of questions for trivia, but I don't. I'm not. I don't know anything about that kind of um, uh, specialized information. Kind of, it was just I was looking around my house and thinking. I wonder how they invented that. And I wonder how they invented that. And so I have like a few, like one of these days I, I will have enough to make a whole game. I don't, I don't know if you played that game, but I did that round, which was uh, things which were invented by accident. And I, and, I, and I read the accident and said, okay, what did this result in? I didn't see that game. I didn't play that game. That was, that, was good one. that was good. Great topic. You know, Mike also did one. Mike Wolf did a category of what's in his office or what's in his room. <laughs> he went like if there was something like here's the James Randi doll, right? So he just would have come up with a, a question about James Randi, even though you could see it's James Randi or or like this is he's Naomi over here has got a Scottish helm hat on a tartan, and so he would have he would have written a question about a tartan. Or about the gargoyle. Well, you started that when you did what's the whole stuff that oh, was behind I did, you. Yeah. you did. So it was just it was just like he just picked the things that, that people could see and he just wrote a question. They had mm. nothing to do with each other. It, the category was things in my house. <laughs> it was really kind of fun. It was really that was exciting. pretty much like that was that was the um, theme of my set of questions that I haven't even finished. Yet. And it's not like I don't have enough stuff. It was just 
<laughs> what's in room a what's in room b well that's the idea so so when you write a category it doesn't have to be a themed it could be i've done i've done several that are just miscellaneous just questions i've had hanging around that I've, i wrote years yeah. ago and i couldn't fit them into a category mm -hmm. so i guess we're closing our rooms i didn't do it so that hurt my brain <laughs> that's all right <laughs> Which part, part, of, which part, part, of, which part of your brain? Which part of your brain? Oh, well. Was it your la 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 or the blue blue la 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 Oh, have you? You're still on that. <laughs> have you really, Susan? What? <laughs> Been hit by lightning? Who? You. <laughs> don't get her started. Okay, okay never, never mind. mind. You never guys mind. are weird. <laughs> I don't know what, what you're talking about. Lightning for? What happens? Is some, that was just the right amount of time. Answer. What happens if somebody has shit for brains? Then how does that work out? Like they're, they're different. <laughs> you don't want to be standing near them when the lightning hits. <laughs> oh yeah magnetic Trump personality spend more time on the golf oh, course that's go. all i'm saying that's find it. a tree trump find a tree <laughs> wouldn't that we'll be interesting golf. oh they would just say it was jewish space lasers lasers that took him out if, if he did die that way right the other day though he he and a bunch of his cronies went out to a golf course to have a serious discussion where they were pretty sure they wouldn't uh, there would be no recording, like no, um, by anybody of their conversation. What a jerk! I saw, I saw on Twitter people were going nuts, and then they were, then they said, "Well, actually, all those people were just as golf executives." Then they was just but the they're planning a tournament. What they call it? They call it like the Last Supper. Oh yeah, I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so Susie, we're back. Okay. The my team, which is your team. Yes, it's amazing. So I don't know how I got. I don't know. I don't know why I'm playing on. I don't know why I'm leading this this group of all these amazing people because I ain't got a clue most of the time. So kudos to you all. Okay, all right. go for it. Answers. Okay, sorry. I had to, my geriatric cat forgot that he ate earlier, and I just had to close my door. He never remembers that he's eaten. Okay. <laughs> Can I, just, memory loss. can I just interrupt for a second? I just got an email uh, from the president and- uh, Oh, I get one every day. <laughs> no, 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 not, not that president, the president of the group. She said that Larry did, did pass away in his sleep from a heart attack. Mm -hmm. so, I think she got that information go. from, from, from us. All right. Oh, I don't know, but- Okay, just all right, thank you. I Did you see the uh, my backdrop is a picture of what they, else they found with Trump's things? Oh yeah. Oh, what is it? Politics for oh, dummies. Magazine, politics for dummy, <laughs> dummies, and uh, Hitler's book. Oh, oh my God. Nice. Um, nice. How about that? Go oh, ahead. I heard that. You have to take control. Yeah. These people will run you over. So you two. What letter? What letter was that, please? The what letter? Number one. Number, what one? Was number one. Okay, I'm just waiting for everybody to get done. Okay. Uh, number one, the DSM is D, like David, Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Health Disorders. Thank you. All right. We just call it the DSM because all the rest is too much to say. <laughs> okay. And it actually is now, I heard the discussion about the DSM-5 is true, but now the latest one is also has DSM-5-TR. They actually have come out with a, an updated version that now is inclusivity uh -huh. oh god yeah 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 okay number two gambling uh -huh. gambling disorder is presently the only condition in the subsection of non-substance related disorders in the category of substance related addictive disorders other conditions are considered and rob was right about that considered or who was that who said that i can't remember what room i was in that's okay. That was, that Carl. Was Carl, it was Carl, but Carl. that's <laughs> okay. 
uh, internet, gaming, social networking, shopping, pornography, viewing, sexual maladaptive behavior, hoarding, etc. Okay, question three. Hoarding is a mental illness? No, oh, very much so, yes. It's an addictive disorder. <laughs> okay. okay. I've awesome. got lots of excuses now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> number three. Number one, or uh, number one is anxiety, nineteen percent. So, can you say the letter, the number in the letter? Uh huh. Number one is B, like boy. Number two is E, Ooh. Edward. You gave them differently. Yeah, yeah. This is very you, confusing. Say, say, the, say, very say the diagnosis. Say the ladder the first, and then the and number. The number that goes. Hold on. You're all talking <laughs> at once. Hang on. I got it. Okay. Major depressive disorder is 6.7%. Huh? Which is what number? Uh, three. What number? Is four. Three. No, it's three. I mean, sorry. Three. I'm sorry. You're right. Oh, we got right. I was trying okay. to do it. I was okay. Three. Just let me well, do this. If you miss okay? one, you don't have it. So it doesn't Hang on. Matter. Hang on. Hang on. I'm not going to do the letters first. I'm going to do the numbers because that's the order that I have them in descending order. So one is 19% anxiety is B. Two is 8% co-occurring substance use disorder, mental illness, letter E. Three, the 6.7% is major depressive disorder. That was letter A. Four is 3.6% PTSD is C. And schizophrenia is D. It's less than 1%. Holy. Wow. I think we only got one of those. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we switched our several times and ended up doing well. But not all of them. <laughs> yeah. And my whole point in doing this question was that 8% is co-occurring in substance use disorder with mental illness, because almost everyone that has a substance use disorder has a co-occurring mental illness. I, I'm sorry, I'm going to need to, I, I'm completely lost. So I'm going to need to know what A is, A with major depressive disorder, which percentage is that one? 6.7%. And anxiety disorder is which percentage? 19%. And PTSD is which percentage? 3.6 percent and we get no credit if we get any of them wrong right that's right, right. right. <laughs> so that don't you get percentage points do you <laughs> no okay. number four the answer is 17 uh 17 9, 1779 or something like it, it was a 1700 the recording of uh e, e, of a brain function neuro stuff yeah that happened in the 1700s, 1791. Yeah. Ago. Ten years after the research into the subject, Galvini published the work that would make him famous, his commentary on the effects of electricity on muscular motion. Okay. And then Galvini did the nervous system. Okay, five. Electroencephalogram. Yay, we got one right. <laughs> My mother was an electroencephalogram technologist. I saw this stuff my entire childhood. Yep. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It's better than my friend who worked in a morgue. As no, I meant sorry to my team. I said graph, not gram. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Well, my mother invented a paste to put the electrodes on with. She had a pad. Mm. Oh, that's her fault, huh? Mm. Yep. She found her thing and she stuck to it. I had to, I had to like. It's also called EEG, which people yeah. confuse with EKG, ECG, yeah. EG. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Number six, ACEs, the ACEs <laughs> study. Adverse childhood effects. It has been proven trauma. Oh, wait a minute. You said ACEs, isn't it? We were arguing about that. Is there an S okay. on the end or not? No. Well, it, that doesn't matter. Okay. Okay, good. Because we just had ACE. Often refer, it's often referred to as the ACEs studies or ACEs ACE assessment. So it's used interchangeably. Right answer. <laughs> right answer. Yes. Yes. 
And I have my clients complete that form all the time. Every single assessment, every new patient does this. Amazing what you find out. What work do you do? I'm a, a therapist. Okay. And I'm also a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner. All right. That's where all these questions came from. <laughs> right, it wasn't just the DSM. Okay. What is the fear-mongering part of our brain? Amygdala. Amygdala. Yes. It's commonly thought to form the core of a neural system for processing fearful and threatening stimuli, including detection of threat and activation of appropriate fear-related behaviors in response to threatening or dangerous stimuli. And that happens from in utero on. Wow. Kids are born with an enlarged amygdala that their mother is under stress. Is she also the queen in Star Wars? Amygdala. <laughs> amygdala. <laughs> what was her name? Amadala. Amadala. Padme? Amadala. That's it. You guys are so knowledgeable. Yeah, yeah. Padme uh, amygdala. Fam, the reason that this is such a big thing is because when you get to be my age, like I have our osteoarthritis in every joint and I grew up with a tremendous amount of all kinds of fucked up stuff in my childhood. And it's turned out because I've had elevated cortisol levels my whole life. <laughs> Heart disease, um, brain dysfunction, uh, all those things are contributed to all the stuff that you had going on when you were a kid. All right. Um, Okay, this one I know people did not like this question, <clears throat> Carl. Um, the autonomic <laughs> nervous system has three parts. It is the uh, peripheral nervous system that regulates involuntary nice. physiologic processes, includes heart rate, blood pressure, respiration, digestion, and sexual arousal. It contains three anatomically distinct divisions, sympathetic, parasympathetic, and enteric. Hey, hey all right. right. Jane, way to go. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> And that part of your brain was working, Jane. You know, <laughs> <laughs> and for, for Rob, who doesn't like the three-part answers, they got it right. <laughs> <laughs> he also, I think they also got that one, the multiple choice one earlier with all the percentages. No, we didn't get no. that. Right. We, oh, we got two, two, back two of them very close numbers we had back. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay, number nine. Really number nine. Ah, oh, number I nine. Was right, James. Huh? Thorazine. Uh, oh, Jane, we should have listened to you again. Yeah. I said Thorazine, but oh. Yes. It's also called chlorpromazine. What about Haldol? Nope. What was that introduced? Okay, listen to my listen, listen, listen to my detail answer. <laughs> Chlorpromazine, aka Thorazine, was synthesized in Dece on December 11th in 1951 in France. A pharmaceutical company released for clinical investigation in May 1952 as a possible potentiator of general anesthesia. It was then brought to the U.S. and distributed in every psych hospital that admitted that there was, and restraint use went down like drastically. So it's. <laughs> Chlorpromazine. Well, now, well, 20 years ago, Haldol was like the drug of choice in it was it for was. Uh, for chemical restraints. Yep, yep. But Thorazine came first. Yep. Sorry. Okay, I heard the discussion about the Rolling Stones and Mother's Little Helper, but it says she takes the little yellow pills, which is Valium. So <laughs> I was not aware of that history related to heroin. Well, the, um, I think the housewives used to take stimulants to keep themselves going. No, no. No, they never did? No, well, that's no. that's probably my addiction nurse, I, I, I never had any Valium, so I don't know nurse, what color they nurse, are. But that's not the answer. The class oh. of drugs, <laughs> benzodiazepines. Oh, darn, you know what? We Binnies. rejected that. Benzo. Remember that they called them binnies. Yes, I talked my team out of that because of Mother's Little Helper. I know. I'm sorry. I did not. When I heard you say that, I you felt. Listen to Karen. I, I grew up with two female parents on them. <laughs> a physical dependence develops more quickly with higher potency benzodiazepines, such as Xanax, than with lower potency ones, such as Librium. 
A total of 30.6 million adults reported year past benzodiazepine use, 12.6%. 30 million people. Wow. This is what wow. happens. People go off of alcohol and they put them on this shit. And it's absolutely no different. They then become addicted to the benzos. It's it's just a mess. Absolute mess. In my in my my mom's lifetime, it was diet pills. Like they yeah. had there's a kind of a consistency which is it's it's more attractive to be slim oh yeah yeah yeah, oh, yeah. So what happened was that that um there were diet doctors there were doctors who were specialists in in weight control yep. and my mom found one and um a doctor did that and he would give her a prescription that was filled in his office and it was a little white box which i still have one of those boxes and it was filled with all different colors of pills wow. and then on the label it had then I guess some designation about what all the prescriptions were and I remember her explaining to me that she figured out which ones to take that made her feel good and talk a lot wow and yeah. and so they were trying to give the patients so many different pills that they wouldn't know which one was working but my mom was Patients are smart. You know, the, I'm sorry, medical world have the same big brain. The patients are stupid and it, that's ridiculous. They figure this stuff out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but the other part of the clue was the 1950s. So that's when this stuff was really a big, big deal. Although um, speed was given uh, during World War II for uh, soldiers to keep them going and it mm -hmm. continued for use through years and years and years and years and years. That's been a long time thing. Lots of speed. Yep. Lots of speed. Yeah, I, was, I was talking, uh, when I was telling the story about my mom, it was the late 50s, early 60s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, the last one I think probably everybody gets. Um, what commonly uh, induces sleep, but actually disrupts deep sleep and becomes activating later is alcohol. Yeah. Low to moderate doses, Alcohol initially produces sleep. However, scientific consensus maintains that chronic use ultimately disrupts sleep, interferes with REM sleep, and even among those who do not meet diagnostic criteria for alcohol dependence, it's still an issue. Very good. Great job. Right. Very Thank good. You. Very good, Susie. She held Thanks, her own. Susie. She was she wasn't intimidated by you all. Oh, I'm, nope. not, I'm not worried about that on her. Yeah, sure, I'm, no. I'm impressed. <laughs> I, I, was worry about scared, I, was, I was scared to death, I have to she tell you. Great. Oh, yeah, you look scared to death. And Terry, <laughs> I have to tell you, Stephanie got all the answers right. Uh, well, okay. she's a friend of ours that we yeah. do lots of uh, stuff with uh, related to uh, some of our other projects. So, yeah. <laughs> that fear came from your um, amygdala. And then after I went over the questions with her, I was like, oh, I feel so much better. Okay. <laughs> no, that was, that was fun. All right. Lots of great discussions. That one. Okay. So let's go for scores. And we're going to start at the bottom. Getting the wrong answers is part of our strategic plan. <laughs> we got six. There's a six. The leaky pins. We also had six. Okay. Alan had a run in with the queen. Uh, I think we had nine, right? Yes. Yeah. May I have a pillow with that Hardee's burger? <laughs> Is anyone keeping track? Five. Yeah. Five. Five. And Susie's team herself, Mazel Tough, honorary Goyam squad. <laughs> I believe it's eight. Very good. So that's a score, average score is 6.8. That's about where it's a good mix of uh, difficult and, and not difficult. I want so to say something means... about Alan, please. Alan held his own, uh, and may I say Carl is on our team, in one <laughs> of the very complex uh, answers, and he was correct. Alan. God, my, Alan. My, my drug addicted brother? <laughs> 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 well, that's funny. So, uh, may I have a pillow with that Hardy's burger? Burger has just earned Wendy. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yay! So that's hey, Wendy. That's what you get for having one point lower than everybody else. So. <laughs> 
Thank you all for your support. And have one more person on your team. Yay, Susie. Good job, Susie. Good fun, Susie. Yay, yeah, good yeah, very good. Very, very uh, educational. Very okay. brainy. I'm a nurse. Oh, I have to educate. I can't help it. So now, I apologize to my team for talking you out of Benny's, but I swear <laughs> I read that in a Paul office. Yes, I, and when I heard that, I was That's like, okay. No, no, it could be wrong. I know bear and heroin, I think, are related. And I thought they called it Mother's Little Helper, but I, and I read it in a Paul Offit book, so I'll find out. That's okay. Not that it matters. I blame but... Paul. No, no, no. So, Susie. It's my misremembering of history and being so sure of it. Susie, <laughs> I always find it really interesting, the answer to this question. As your first time doing a category and you go room to room to room to room, what do you think? I loved it. It was really, it was great. It was really interesting to listen to other, because going into this i thought oh this just this is just not going to go well and i was really pleased and surprised all the discussion that went on and you know the going back and forth and the different levels of knowledge that people had about different things so that was really fun you, you might be addicted <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah i find that one of the most interesting things is to go through the rooms and listen to the <clears throat> conversations knowing you can't participate and so just you're forced to listen you're like oh they're on the wrong track or oh my god they just talked that person out of the correct answer <laughs> well, I, I, I always awesome. turn my microphone off and snicker <laughs> <laughs> so go back whenever whenever i put this because i'll put this video up on um youtube and you can go back and always listen to your to your category and you'll hear at least what happened in the room that i was in and it's always so so interesting to see so yeah that was fun yeah Good job. We'll put you down in a few more weeks. Get working on your next category. <laughs> so, and it wasn't so, we weren't so mean to her, right? So we were good, right? Okay, good. No, you were good. Thank okay. You. Well, we'll agree to get tougher next time. Deborah, you are up. Yay. All I'm right. I'm looking forward so, to Deborah's non wordle category. Right. So this, uh, this will have a theme. It's actually a mystery theme. Ooh. And if you figure out the theme, you should be able to get all the answers okay so and the um these are one word each each answer is one word and i'm going to give a definition or synonym or description and all the words are in english they may have come from other languages but they're okay. all in, Carl, in can english. You mute us? here we go three two mute okay Let's forget about that. Okay, one, the first one is observe. Two. I'm sorry, I, I totally miss what we're doing here. It's just not in the chat. What are we doing here? You're observing. <laughs> no, you're not observing. You might be observing. <laughs> All right, I'll put this little, I'll put this little thing in the, in the chat. Hang what on. do we do with the one word? We just say what it is. You put it, write it down. Oh, this so, will make sense. It will make sense. Okay, so just have trust. That's what we're doing. It's and it's a mystery theme. So figure out the theme. Once you get the words, you will know the theme. I hope. Okay. So let me move this chat thing over. Okay. And I'm gonna put it, maybe put two or three of them in at a time. Hopefully they work. Okay. So the second one is should. And this and number three is spacious so i'm gonna put let me see if i can put all these in at one time let's see here yeah. okay. so our answers are one word too yeah yeah this, this this just happened to be one word definitions but not all of them are like that in fact the next the next three have m multiple words so number four is the fourth letter of the greek alphabet Number five is made of flax. And six is containing nothing. So I'll put those in there. And seven is, oh shoot, I put in, hang on. Shoot. Uh, seven, hang on. Yes, yeah, seven is 
have to fix this. I changed this one. Sorry. Um, seven is a secret political clique or faction. Where are we now? Seven. Eight is to make into a unit or a coherent whole. Uh, nine is the fold of the front of a coat that is usually a continuation of the collar. Get those all. We're not folding like fitted sheets or anything like that? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's fun though. It's a fun exercise. Deborah finds is interesting. Trust me. <laughs> all right. And then 10 is any of a genus, and I, I blocked out the name of the genus because it would give it away, of herbivorous, chiefly nocturnal, perissodactyl mammals of tropical Afri America, sorry, and southeastern Asia from Myanmar to Sumatra that have a heavy, heavy sparsely hairy body and the snout and upper lip prolonged into a short, flexible proboscis. So you have to name the animal. I thought you said this was in English. <laughs> <laughs> uh, except for like a little bit of Latin, I guess. Okay. You know. Wow. <laughs> well, the name of the animal is presumably in English. Okay, so there you go. George. Figure out all these words, figure out the theme, and you'll, once you know the theme, you'll see the theme, I guess. Okay. If you'll, under, you'll understand. All right, so go to your rooms. All right. Bob's around, has his hand up. Why does Bob have his hand up? Good job. Kat has her hand up too. That's Bob. Oh, that's Bob. Where are you, Bob? I never put it up. I. I uh huh. Uh, you had your anything. hand up for some reason. Your hand. I, I didn't do it. <laughs> oh, I raised your hand. I use my mental powers, my psychic powers, to raise your hand. I don't know what oh. to tell you. Okay, let me put oh. Wendy in her room. Am I supposed to go to room three? You're supposed to go to room one. It says three. Okay, well, yeah, it's, cause that's because that's where you last were last. So I'm going to yeah. move you to your room. Thank you. Can I have my video back on? or did Yeah, you we'll put it back on. on. It won't let me. Oh, well, let me try doing it. You were falling okay. asleep. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Had a rough night. Scaring me night. after what happened with Larry. I don't want to know. Can <laughs> oh you do it now? <laughs> I said, I sent a message yes. and said, okay, there you go. Okay, I'm going to my yeah. room. Yeah. Go to your rooms. A tro tropical with a seam, sparsely, a short, oh, okay. flexible proboscis. That's, That's what a nose or snout. I was kind of focused on. I was trying to think what. Um, Is seven a cabal? Not an anteater. It's not nuts. Uh, hairy trying, body not uh, i was running it's a taper or ta i think they're pronounced tapers tapers they got the long snout well this one it, but that, it has a short snout oh wait i mean are these supposed to be it's all five body. letter words snout. Well, i'm wondering about that so oh, far God, i've got no. all five letter words it's wordle it's it's answers she did it she did it to mess with me yeah <laughs> deborah <laughs> She's coming to my house. Yeah, I play, with, yeah. I play that okay. game with Deborah. I've never played Wordle, so I don't know, right. I don't know the concept. So it's five letter words that you're supposed to guess. And that's it's it. It's guessing. It really and, is. Guessing. And they sure. must have been, they must have been recent, like recently in Wordle. I'm sure they this recognize many of that as I don't remember. I mean, if Cabal is right, I don't remember that from any word. When I played the last two hundred of them, number seven, I think. So yeah. let's go through. Let's start from from the first one. Okay. Watch. Observe. Watch. Watch. Should ought o u g h t. Watch. No, no, for number two. Oh. Ought. Good. Yes. What is it? Thought. Ought. 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 Like oh you I mean unless there's another that's more than five letters. O U G H T. Oh oh U G H. I thought you said thought. And Go then with three, Deborah. Would three I know what you did roomy? here. 
Lars. You're evil. You're Lars. Not, you're gonna, you think you're going to ride in the car with me? I'm going to put you in the Debra, back seat. Debra, you're never going to get up here for off. another event. <laughs> it's it's just so yeah. sorry. <laughs> I will send you a ticket. I'm leaving now. Unless I will send you a ticket. You can come anyway. <laughs> because there's another total eclipse. Oh, okay. She's putting well, another one it? on just for us. When, it, when is I it? I don't know. It's She's in charge. Wait a minute. I have to. I have to look. It's <laughs> like October twenty third, twenty twenty three, or. Oh, oh really? Okay. okay. Well, that's a ways away. I. I and it'll but be it's an, an, what I'm doing annular. It's an annular. Sure it's November. one year away. Okay, well, I'll be there. And it's an it's gonna, annular eclipse. And it's going right. to be going over your house? Yeah. <clears throat> All right, we're going. But it won't be it won't be the cool one like we just had. It's going to be a wimpy one. So okay. we have to make it up with a really a good party. party. Okay. Okay. Really good party. party right? We'll do trivia from your house. <laughs> so we don't run out of time like last time we finished this because number five starts no. with an L. No. Linen. Yeah. How do you know that? Yeah. How because you if you look at the first letter of each answer, W O R D L E. Okay, so so number three is roomy then. Yeah, that's roomy. Then delta. Then linen. Then empty. Now I'm not sure about the the cabal. Wordle. Yeah, what do you the do? Bell after is you... nine. Sorry, what, what was is nine? nine? lapel oh yeah okay right so Wordle it's wordle cult so you ah. <laughs> unite eight is unite yeah there we go and then the last one starts with a lemur no a that lemur. doesn't have a nose no that doesn't have a nose does it no t the left t is taper a cult Taper, I was right then. Okay. Okay, so it's watch, ought. What's the third one? Rumi. Rumi. Yep. Delta. Number four is Delta. Number five is linen. Number six is empty. Number seven. Did we decide cabal? Yeah. Cabal. yeah. Okay. Um, How do you spell cabal? C A B A L. <laughs> Number eight is unite. Number nine is lapel, L-A-P-E-L. -E Number 10 is taper, T-A-P-I-R. Yep. yep. I, I wonder if anybody else is going to get this. This is in Susan's honor, obviously. This is mean. It's hilarious. <laughs> oh, others so will get what it. What we need to do is we need to take a picture of our score and we need to post it on Facebook. <laughs> see, see? Next to yeah, a Wordle. picture of Susan. Going. No. <laughs> this is this is funny. This is funny. Very good. I, I I want to watch. I wish I could watch the other rooms go. Wait a minute. Do they spell something? <laughs> no, they're gonna get it. You think? She said they were five words or five letter words. She didn't <laughs> write that in the direction. She just said it. Yeah, no, that's the that's the whole thing of a secret uh, theme. Apparently, everybody plays Wordle except for me. Except for me everybody Jane. on this team. <laughs> How, do you spell Rumi? How did we get a non, a totally 100% non Wordle? Somebody no, no, no. I'm, I'm Wordle. I'm like 240 consecutive games now. Oh, wow. And oh, you, you are a Wordle person. I told you it's a cold. Yep. And Cordal. I play that every day, too. Can you post oh. before? Just a second. I'm going to go see what date the eclipse. Of course, Ron posts the score. Do you, Ron? No, not that often. But you bet you share it with somebody. Well, Alan usually does it. And then if I beat him, I'll post mine. Yeah, I, I post on Alan's um, almost every day. I comment. That's yeah. why I knew that. That's why I knew the name. Okay. Because I look and I see it there and I, I say, I know that name from somewhere. Oh, and, Wendy? Okay. Yeah. Yep. Well, I, I don't have time to play games. Oh, but they're going to tell you it's only five minutes. I'm retired, but my brain still works, sort of. <laughs> yeah. 
That's my morning ritual is to go through the important things like read all the comics. Oh, yeah. Then play cartoons. Wordle, Quartle, and Spelling Bee. Every I, have, morning. I, have, I am a, I, at 10 o'clock at night. I will, well, <laughs> when I go to bed, if it, I will read certain cartoons. My go to is Luann. Yes. I love Luann. Yes. And for better or for worse. Yeah, absolutely. And I always list, read um, Canterville. And that you, one I don't. You also know. used to read uh, Pearls Before Swine. I love that's, Pearls. That's before my all-time favorite. I love Pearls yep. Before Swine and Pickles. And Pickles. Pickles uh, and, is perfect uh, for our age group. And <laughs> I've also started. Uh, I love Sally Forth. Yep. And I love. Um, I I got into Rex Morgan because I wanted to find. I oh, thought, Rex, why are you is he that? still oh, alive? My, my that was from my childhood. Well, yeah, see, that's I, why that... I wanted to start doing it. Well, what it was is I started. I started said, you know, what is all these things that have been running forever? I'm gonna and I started following it and Rex Morgan and I started doing it. And then he did a thing that was a pseudoscience kind of topic. And so I reached out to the off, uh, to the guy who writes it and draws it, and I interviewed him. I did a skeptical inquiry interview with him, and he has a Wikipedia page. For, Rex Morgan has a Wikipedia page, so I put the article, the article I wrote, and the interview I did with the guy. I put it on. Uh, we had to put on the Wikipedia page for Rex Morgan. So I am on the my name. Let me make sure it's still there before I say it. <laughs> my name is a citation on Rex Morgan. R E X M O R G A N M D. Talk about a bucket list. There you go. Something nobody ever knew. Good job. Okay. Susan. There you go. Total, total eclipse and angular eclipse, which means the sun will not be fully blocked out. It will show around the outside. It's a very short eclipse. It's October 14th, 2023, 2023 at 9 a.m. in the morning. Oh, I don't, my nope. calendar doesn't go that far. So if it's solar, I, I, I don't know that I can pull off another party because oh. we have deck repairs and what day is that again? October what? October fourteenth. So if a solar eclipse is when the moon passes between the Earth and the Sun, is a lunar yep. eclipse where the Sun passes between the Earth and the Moon? The Earth passes between the Sun. Oh, okay. And so the Earth shadows on the on the, the sun doesn't create a shadow right so the, you've either got the moon creating a shadow or the earth creating a shadow so this time so when we had the really big one the moon was very close to us and so it was much bigger and it blocked out the whole sun this time the moon will be much further away and so the sun shows up around the outside of the moon right and it's a much shorter period of time that it's there because of where the moon is placed. We had so much fun. She she arranged for the last one to go right over her house. We had a ton of people showed up. It was so much fun. Oh my God. It was a multi-day party. Yeah, that's that's it my lasted, that's what I want to live my life. It lasted from Wednesday till the following Tuesday with an eclipse on Sunday and then a barbecue and we Deborah did and I camp and, um, and we did spaghetti dinners and pancake breakfast and hike on the Where were you, Jane? I wasn't here yet. Oh. <laughs> but so I read fun. Susan's article about it. I think that there was, an, I, was that where I have a video. That? There's a video too I put out that was, I took the camera, I put it on a tripod and I filmed people watching. And you could see everybody was excited and they're walking around in front of the cameras. It was a hillside. We had all these people on it. And you could see the light get really dim. And we we're all you know like, what? it's really getting cold. It's getting so cold. And then, you know, the eclipse happens. You don't see the eclipse. You just see everybody going, oh my gosh, look at Oh, I saw know? a video. Yeah, I saw I saw a video. It was the video of people. Video of people. <laughs> really eclipse. sad. I that watched nobody, that video. And nobody and people took were looking and yeah and then that was my video started yeah saying and oh, then it gets bright again and we start yeah. getting warm yeah. and there was a couple i don't know who they are they started they kissed each other it was so cute yeah like, so nobody me. took pictures of the group that was down in the field no oh, so my okay. son 
and a whole bunch, as many people were down in the field as were up on the hill with us. And yeah. Susan wasn't down there. So I, no and was there are more people who are photographers out there than me. So I know taking a picture. You all have cameras. Maybe I was up on the hill. Well, we did have a really good time. And that's how that's how life should be. I'm citation number eight on Rex Morgan, by the way. I'm just letting you guys know. <laughs> I'm as soon as as soon as we get back on this, I need to go close up my chickens. Okay, well, let's leave. I'm the very room. anxious. We could leave. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to close the room. But I want to hear the scores. So okay, Ron, what um, is it that you, what cartoons are your go-to that you can't miss? Um, most of the ones, the ones you mentioned, um, actually it's all, it's, for it's all on my iPad. So, and, um, Luanne, I've been following this for years. Hey. Yeah. Here's a good Mouth. one is questionable content. It's a web-based. Oh, content. Now. Is that on, uh, is that on, um, it's questionable content. Dot net or if you google it i think you should be hey, is it on um washington post no no it's just its own web page comes out two or three times a week i think yeah i just go to go comics and comics kingdom and they have a whole collection yeah of i do that too and there's a few i have well luann and there's also a luann return uh again l-u-a-n-n a G A N N Luann again. It's just showing all the cartoons from whenever she was a little girl, and she's falling in love with uh, Adam Hill. Hey Bob. So Ron, you would have done a really good job. I've had a category of newspapers cartoons. Everybody hated it. <laughs> Deborah, I, really Deborah, well, Deborah, I loved it. it. That was awesome. I hate you, Deborah. Yeah. No, that was awesome. We're gonna get a zero. <laughs> we're gonna get awesome. Even Deborah. better. Oh, you're going to get a zero? Yes. You're going to get a zero. I hope You deserve it. So, uh, Susan. Susan. Yes, are we? Yes. The cat's hand is up, so just to let you Yeah, I don't know why. Yeah, we know. I think cat's trying to tell us that. Cat is just saying, talk to the hand. See, you thought you thought I was gonna say, you know, we're being recorded, but I didn't this time. Maybe Cat was trying to tell us that we're being recorded. Yeah. Now we have to go to the bathroom. Well, now oh, we have Lord. ambiguous consent on the recording thing. I'm pretty okay, sure they're not so, a cat. I think they're a real live human person. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Susan, oh, before we before we get all excited and have answers and scores Nobody's and everything, getting excited. Trust me, Deborah. It's not <laughs> <laughs> whatever. Um, oh, we figured it out. I lost. I lost my jumping around powers there towards the end, so I couldn't go back to my room before the things closed. So you're gonna have to put me back in. Oh, in I'll life. put you back. Don't worry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> back in time. You I may be in your time. own private room. Yes, <laughs> may be in your own private room. Oh, oh boy, that was exciting. If you guys exactly. didn't already get the category, perfect but category. I'm wondering I love that. Answers. Uh, answers. So um, the answers are. And I'm just going to read them off and I'll um, paste them in like kind of like I did with the questions. So one is watch. Yes. Two is ought. Three yeah. is roomy. Yay. I'm going to paste that in chat. Hang on here. That. Um, maybe more. Uh, four is delta. Yay. Five is linen. Six is empty. Seven is cabal. Ooh. Eight is unify or unite. Either one will work. Um, let's see. Uh, eight, I'm oh, sorry. Nine is lapel. And 10 is tapir, which is oh. a funny, mm -hmm. weird little animal. Oh, um, funny, Deborah, is we picked a completely different theme and got them all right. <laughs> got all the right. Okay, so as long as you got the right words, oh, funny, I, I saw, funny, Deborah, I saw is we a group have, we have no that idea had, that had the all the was. right words. We had no idea what the theme that, was, and we had eight right. I saw. Oh, so if you guys call. had, if you would know, yes, thank you. And we had Susan <laughs> in our group. We had to get it right. Exactly. <laughs> so if you look at the call. first letter of every answer. It spells read them from top to bottom. Yeah, oh. <laughs> uh, like number 10 didn't paste in yet. So, oh, Faith, what was your theme? Though? You got what all was the theme? I, I well, was like five letter words. 
Oh, wow. And I had no idea they were word alert. <laughs> you don't need to get that far, but that's interesting. That's we, what it was. we should have caught on once we realized they were five all five letter words yeah. and it was a wordle thing. Well, so not well the problem is not all of ours were five letter words because we didn't come we came up well, with we the, changed, you know, we changed them somebody's not getting a 10. Yeah, I tried. <laughs> good, good job. Sorry, Rob. I mean, Faith, you did you notice it. that first? That we, I didn't who, who notice said five letter all. words? Yeah, I was. I trying tested to this on my son, help, who does not play <laughs> Wordle, <sighs> and uh, well, he, he got most of the said, words. They're all five. We said they're all five letter words. They could be recent yeah. Wordle words, and I said that for a I few times until that. I read them vertically, yeah. and I said, "Oh, Wordle yeah. something," and then yeah, we got it. Yeah. That was very yeah, clever. I, tried, I was going to do recent ones, and then I couldn't find enough mm -hmm. of them that, that actually made a word. <laughs> and I thought that that would be, I wanted to do that. So. Very clever. Oh, ha -ha. Brilliant. Good job, Deborah. Thank you. And, <laughs> and I'm right. Wordle is a cult. There it is. It says it right there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's a game. Uh huh. It's a game. Sure. Uh -huh. that's, keep telling yourself Until that. Until you get to OT5. <laughs> oh. Now yeah, that's it's gonna fun. run out. So one of these days it's gonna run out and it'll be all so over. Brian, Brian has to go. Can we do scores? Yes, oh please. my goodness, scores. You guys oh, don't boys. need to know your scores, do you? Everybody gets a point. No, but you are all winners. We'll all get all winners. Okay. So let's go with the category that um the room that Deborah was in. Um, may I have a pillow with that Hardy's burger? Can. Yes. And we are in the lead. Thank you. Let's just stop right Thank here. You. Thank you. <laughs> Enjoy. Okay, the leaky pins. 10. Good of job. Course. And getting the wrong answers is part of the strategic plan. 10. Well done. Oops. Ah, it's not taking the point. It's not doing it. You break it. Ah, that's interesting. Copy the one above below. No, it's not even giving me the option. Oh, it's unresponsive. Oh, yeah. oh how weird. I usually don't have. Okay, so let's go on. Uh, Mazel Tuff. Yeah, so as I said, this is bizarre that this actually worked out as well as it did. We had like four synonyms. And at the last minute, we said, okay, pick one, pick one, pick one, pick one. Yeah. With no clue about it, and we got eight right. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so we got eight. All right. Very good. Very good. Okay, Alan had a run in with the queen. 10. Okay, so 10, 10, 8. I'll have to exit this probably. It's giving me a, a spinny thing. Okay, I'm going to exit it and, and deal with it. There is no cloud. There's just somebody else's computer. Okay. Yes. So now it's coming back up. I, Carl, I actually had an uh, argument at a Thanksgiving dinner with someone's spouse who worked at Google about mm -hmm. the cloud a long time ago. She's like, trying to explain to me the cloud and I said oh well it's just this and this and she said no no it's not it's just like out there it's a cloud oh, God. <laughs> and she worked at Google and she was trying to explain it to me well, you know uh, Google uh, has janitors uh, too so that's funny it's well let's do a photo true. really quick before we go to our breaks Peggy where are you Wordle Wordle cult Wordle <laughs> Peggy, are you coming back? She's all. Wordle. Show us your <laughs> wordles. Wordle. Okay, so I'm going to get over to the screen here. <clears throat> all right, count to three. One, two, three. Okay, right, let's see what we got. Hey, she's going to show up right at the last minute. Watch. Well, we'll take another one. No, I think we did it. No, she's not there. A photo done. Uh, yeah, Are we when done? I said one, two, three. That means I got okay. It. okay. Go good. put the chicken. Go see the cat. All right. Thanks, Brian. See you again. Bye, Brian. Bye. No, they asked me to wait through until the next thing because we're oh. losing Carl. So that's why they want to hustle through. Oh well, fine. So I don't go to bed. <laughs> oh, we can't go to bed because Carl is doing the next round. Oh, okay. Right, that's right. Our lives are dominated by this. Yeah. Okay, so weird. Hey, well, are we? Are, is this the break or are we? Yeah, gonna we're do on this? our five minute break. Four and a half minutes now. Hurry up. Hey, guess what? Be <laughs> brave. Guess what? What? Chicken butt. There you go. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm going to go get some ice cream. Okay, so I will be right back. I want to hear this king, the queen's thing when I get back. Oh, you could just you. Uh, you. Uh -huh. You're such a smart doggy. Yes. Carl must be up next. Maybe since he's, since he's facing forward instead of sideways. <laughs> That's right. He usually is in his we're, reclining chair. We're, we're used to seeing Carl in profile, and then yep. uh, we actually get to see him from the front. Ben. Um, do you uh, have Windows 11? Uh, I have it on like a test computer, but I don't run it as my main computer because so far I'm not super fond of it. Oh yeah, because I can't get the, I can't get the background in Zoom. I'm, I've got it. I'm on eleven. Yeah, I can't get it. I don't know what I'm doing wrong or anything. I. But... Did you do it before, and then you upgraded your computer, or did you get a different computer? Did you just upgrade the operating system, or what happened? No, no, it uh, it came with Windows 11, the computer, the new. So you have a new replacement computer, and this one you can't do the the Zoom stuff on the background uh, images. Yeah, for some strange reason. What happens? Does it just is it grayed out, or do you get an error, or what does it do? It just uh, doesn't show up. Oh. Yeah. Like you select uh, you one the and then it doesn't work. Of, do you have the most recent version of Zoom? I should have it. I downloaded it. I don't know how to. I don't even know if you can do anything on it. But, so silly. Come on, say hi. Say hi. Okay. I don't want to unblur my background because my place is a mess, but. <laughs> What's his name, Peggy? This is George. Oh, hi, George. George. George is getting fixed tomorrow. Oh, no. Yeah. George, you got one last night to enjoy yourself. One more night with balls. <laughs> Some of us. Some of them got all. How old is he? Seven months. Run, George, run. Yeah. I've always objected to the euphemism because you're really breaking it. You're really what? It's really that they're going to be broken, not that they're going oh, to be fixed. Yeah. There's nothing oh. wrong with them. 
<laughs> not that there's anything wrong. Yeah, well, he's uh, he's old enough. So did we, did Carl give his, I mean, Carl, did uh, Alan tell us the story about how he met the queen? How he ran in, ran her over? <laughs> okay, you got, you got a, you got a minute? Yeah, of course, I've got a minute. Okay. 19, 1973, I'm working at my dad's warehouse as a schlepper in Toronto. And uh, uh, Queen Elizabeth and Princess, Prince Philip were on a royal visit to the city. And it was also the same time that uh, Princess Anne had just had her first child. And the big debate in the Canadian Parliament was whether or not they should send an official congratulations to the royal family for the birth of the, the royal granddaughter. And of course, the, uh, the guys from Quebec, the French said, no way. So they're having this major debate over this stupid issue. Well, they, what they would do is on the radio, they would, um, they always told you where the royal uh, motorcade was going. And as it turned out, it was about, gonna be about a block away from the warehouse. So I, um, I fast quick, got a piece of cardboard and I made a sign and I put on the sign, say Mazel Tov to Princess Anne. And I told my dad, I'm gonna go see the queen. And I went running down the street to, the, uh, to, the, to where the motorcade was gonna come by. And there weren't too many people at that spot. And I sat down and I just, and I just waited and I put the sign sort of against my knees and there's a police constable, he's walking back and forth and you know, he's trying, I can see he's trying to see what the sign said. Finally he asked me. So I showed him and I, he says, what's it mean? And I told him, he says, okay. So a few minutes later, the motorcade's coming down the street and um, it, the, uh, royal, the royal couple is in an open, open limousine. Phil's looking across the other way and, uh, and Liz is looking my direction, uh, like to my side of the street. So as they pull up, you know, it wasn't a big street. Um, I picked up the sign and I stepped right out into the street and I put the sign out. I mean, I couldn't have been more than like uh, an arm's length from the queen. And I put the sign out and, you know, she looked just like a postage stamp with the big smile and the, and the wave. And as she's going by, I see her eyes lock on the sign. And she's watching, and she's, watching she's reading the sign. So I was hoping that at some point I would, you know, I would bump into her at the, at uh, Walmart or something like that and ask her, you know, did you, did you deliver the message? But anyway, that was my, that was my, uh, it wasn't running, but that was my experience with the queen. So there you go. That's, that's amazing. So I, we're all one degree away from have met, met the queen. That's right. We all know Alan. That's right. <laughs> I wonder if it was a story for her that she told to other people. <laughs> I was. That's right. I was on one of my tours in, in Montreal. Right. This, uh, cheeky, this cheeky man held up this sign. I still don't know what it is. Uh, every this every time you met a world leader child. I almost met Alan Steiner. Arms linked away from me. I was that close. <laughs> that close. I was hoping I would bring it to him someday in a piano ball. Tuner. That's right. <laughs> I missed a little tiny bit of that. I got part of it. What the did the sign this. say? What's that? What did the sign say? Say muzzle, say muzzle top to Princess Anne, because Princess Anne had just had a baby and the Canadian Parliament couldn't make <laughs> a big decision of whether or not to send a congratulations. That's Thank great. You. Thank you, Quebec. <laughs> great Thank story. Thank you, Quebec. Okay, so this is our break that we're done with. Um, I was just telling Carl, no, why do I do this all the time? <clears throat> I was just telling Kyle that I have been working in the yard and, and that I ran in here to turn on Zoom and he shows up and I said, I just was listening to you talking to me. He uh, from Data Skeptic podcast. So, what do you got going on Data Skeptic this week and next well, week? Since I already know what's on this week. Yeah, and the latest we're uh, still doing our ongoing series on ad tech and how technology drives digital advertising. This newest one, I talked to a guy named Rob, who's basically the world's leading expert in podcast ads. So we do a deep dive on how those work. That's oh. this week on Data Skeptic. It's, it's, I had no idea, no idea about advertising and how 
um, when the when the podcaster reads out <laughs> and like kind of gives a little story or endorsement, that's it's way bigger as far as marketing yes. <clears throat> than uh, just having an ad or a commercial. For sure, I've helped to measure that. That's definitely true. Mm-hmm. That was very interesting. So, okay, so that's uh, data skeptics. What else do we have out there, Robert? You have something? Wait for a bit. No. Psychons quickly coming up. Hello. Uh, so uh, I interviewed Tim Cofield, and he might be the last person, and that should be coming out tomorrow. Hopefully. Did Tim you say Caulfield. you did PIF? Tim Caulfield. No, but earlier tonight, did you say you did PIF? <laughs> no, I, I did Pendulette, and we talked a little bit about oh, that. Right, okay. I'll be talking with Paul Offit on Wednesday, if anybody has Oh, cool. Call. Oh, is the pan? How are we doing on the pandemic? Oh, I guess we'll have to watch and listen. Mm-hmm. To so, so, no, so, so, if you have a specific question that I can yes. relate about a lot of research, yes, yes, yes. Me, yeah, are, you, are you aware that he was against promoting the the current booster? Well, I wouldn't say that, Rob. I would say he voted against it. <laughs> yes, yeah. That's what I want to know. So, are you going to ask? Should him I get my what? boost up? Because you Why told me I was lucky. His mind or whatever. Yeah. That's well, fair. he just he just says that he thinks the current vaccinations work fine and oh yeah I'd like, well, i want to hear him say that i'm like well i'm sure he i'm sure we will talk about that but i think part of it was that you know when the vote took place they weren't sure what the strain was going to be so why are they going with this bivalent right so, so right so the follow-up question you know given the current one would he say something differently would he vote differently or whatever yeah, yeah i'm uh, we'll see but i will I'm sure he'll talk about that. But I also want to talk about the flu. There's an interesting pilot study that suggests the high dose flu vaccine reduces all cause mortality. It's a pilot study, very small, oh, yeah. powered, mm. but it's an interesting. Really? Because um, I just we don't have to talk about it now. <laughs> I just got that. Be you, you mean the one for over 65? Um, well, this it was also a Danish study, I think, and you know those Danish people. Um, but. <laughs> <laughs> that okay, doesn't mean so anything. Brian, it doesn't mean anything. I just said it to watch. Brian, everything. I have a question for Paul off but you gotta write it down. Can you just email it to me? No. Oh. Can't you write Where's it on chat? a pen? You don't have a pencil and paper. And it isn't same tell uh <laughs> Mazel talk to Queen. Anne. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Really? You can't write it down? Yeah, I'm asking a... you, really. Okay, you hold on. Write it down. <laughs> I have a question too. He answered my question live on. Uh, I know that was great. And he said, "You won, Kevin. You're a winner." But I want to know: Do I get my what? Yes, booster? you get your thing. Well, look, he can't give out personal medical advice, of course. But how old well, are you? Well, he like, did to me at the other place. I told well, him no, my he situation. Said, Congratulations, you won. He didn't say don't do it. But I, I think his feeling is, if you know, if you've had two boosters, if you had the, if you had the original, you had two boosters, you had COVID. Within a few months, you know, you can't just keep boosting every four months. Well, That's he why. told me not to get the booster, that I didn't need it. I, I had the best situation. That's what he told so me. So now right. he's telling me I should cancel my appointment for tomorrow at 1 p.m. when I'm going to get the bivalent booster. Okay, well, he's not saying that. <laughs> okay, my question. Okay, I have important. a question. And my question. My is... email address is 502conversations at gmail.com. Okay, put, my put question in the chat, is. Please. Okay. My question is. I want you to ask him how Stanley Plotkin is doing. Oh. I just want you to write down because his name is unusual. My question is. Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait. I told people I was going to bed. Hold on. <laughs> Stanley Plotkin doing? I'll ask him that off air if you want. No, I want it on air. Oh, okay. Well, Stanley I Plotkin thought... is an amazing man. I know, but I'm not sure how personal he will. Okay. No, he told us. He told us. Be, he told us he's doing fine. <laughs> okay. We got to hurry up because Brian's got to get going. What's what's his, so in his book, Vaccinated, uh, he gave Hillman's projections for the next um, flu pandemic, the H2 virus in 2025. Is that that a question? (laughs) I heard a statement. Well, my question is, should we still stand by to expect um, the H2 uh, pandemic in well, 2025? Usually, there's also the neuraminidase H1, H2N what? Was it H2N3, H2N1? Um, it's not 
uh, okay, so. I'll tell you what, I'll put this in the chat and you can get in. Brian, just yes. tell him, just tell him I, to tell to, that I said hi and that I said best wishes to uh, Stanley Plotkin. I will do that for sure. That okay, in case. It's a, it's a secret Stanley's code from the cabal. Well. He won't know that the microfilm is behind the bench at the park if you don't relay that message. <laughs> well, okay. my, what I'm saying is coded. Susan Gerbic, oh. best wishes to Stanley Gerbic. Uh, Stanley Gerbic. Stanley Gerbic. <laughs> Stanley Kubrick. Oh. He'll be looking in the zoo for the microfilm if you say that. What is Carl? What is Kyle? See, look, I get these backwards every freaking time. What is he hanging up on his wall now? First, it was underpants. It's a star. Well, we had, he had his underwear it's hanging It's a snowflake. There. It's a snowflake. Come on. I don't think we have it on video with him, with his underwear back there before. So okay. you guys all just have to know. All right, Brian. Sorry. That's good. We know. This is also underwear, but yeah. <laughs> really? Special underwear. Special snowflake underwear. Oh, that, that underwear. <sighs> okay. So that's, that's tacky. Anything we need to know? Um, Free thought day. I'm going to be in Sacramento. Uh, maybe Deborah's going to go. I don't know. After that last category, I'm not really sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be doing a talk for the, the oh, what is that? Oh, it's a, it's a big foot. Okay. I thought it was something brown and long that looked kind of scary there. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Good job sneaking in Wordle there, uh, Deborah. Oh, yeah. Question. Thank you. Here's, here's the, I'm going to be giving a talk to the Sacramento skeptics on <laughs> Saturday, and then I'm going to be oh. accepting, you know, going to a VAP party on Saturday. So Debbie, you got to wear a dress. And then, are Saturday, you going to wear a dress? I don't know. I don't know if I could fit in anything <laughs> anymore. I've been eating milk duds like crazy. And then Sunday is the festival, and that on um, Sunday I'm going to get a reward. A reward. I'm getting a, an award, and we'll probably have a table where we'll be hanging out. So there's the information on it. And do not forget Psycon y'all okay that's it you got Ready? a new subscriber brian oh thank Aww. you Kyle. okay good night brian no I'm, I'm staying through because i promised my team and even though i oh, even though it's now even even though i sabotage myself i'm staying up but this will sure. put me in training for psychon so ah uh, you gotta so show brian, brian you east coasters brian do you a have a podcast yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> just, just we'll move on. It's a Moving YouTube on. channel. Oh. 502 Connections. No. Thank you. You can subscribe to it now that you know all about subscriptions, Janine. I, mean, I actually don't. I'm still puzzled. Questions, by the little questions, questions, questions. It won't let me do it. This is yeah, a new record. It's like eight minutes to work. It's eight and minutes asked to me to log in. I don't know through, what I'd uh, log in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead, Carl. I got your name right this time. I don't care what you're doing, Carl. I just hope it's fast because we got. Oh uh, well, the question. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. All life is live your life. All right. This will be round three of quotes, the hundred greatest movie quotes of all time, according to the American Film Institute. I will read a quote, and the year that it, it's from, and in parentheses, I will have what you need to answer i it, you can it'll be some variation of either character or character actress or character actress or movie we know how this works we got it all right and mute all yep except for me and me which i see now unless we can mute susan too but no all right Number one, and somebody on my team has to remember to keep score for this because I obviously won't be there. My mother thanks you, my father thanks you, my sister thanks you, and I thank you. From a movie in 1942, you can give either the character, the actor, actress, or the movie. Any of those will get you a point. Robin Welsh is showing up. Number two, go ahead, make my day from a movie in 1983, and this may be a blow, but I want the specific movie, not the general franchise or character. Number three. 
Robin, I'm sending you the questions for the first two. From a movie in 1950, fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy night. I'll accept either the character, the actor, actress, or the movie. Actor, actress. Number four, show me the money from 1996. Oh, are you repacing for Robin? Yeah, I'm sorry. I meant to just go to Robin. I'll do that right now. Okay. Uh, show me the money. I'll take from 1996 character, actress, actor, actress, or movie. Number five. Somebody's not muted. There's a TV playing. Copy. You can't handle the truth from 1992. I'll take the character or the movie. Number six. We Rob Banks from 1967. I'll take either the character, the actor, actress, or the movie. Number seven. Plastics. 1967. I'll take the character, the actor, actress, or the movie. Okay. Number eight. Let's see how this pastes in format. Character one. Surely you can't be serious. Character two. I am serious and don't call me Shirley. From 1980, I want either the character or the actor or actress for character one. Number nine. Can we give the movie for that last one, number eight? Does it say movie in the question? No. Want the character. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Good one. Whoa. Number nine. Yeah. Listen to me, mister. You're my knight in shining armor. Don't forget it. You're going to get back on that horse, and I'm going to be right behind you, holding on tight, and away we're going to go, go, go. From 1981, you can name the character, the actor, actress, or the movie. And we finally, the movie for, for that 10. one? Hmm? Does it say? <laughs> I said, could we name the movie for that one? <laughs> no. Number 10. <laughs> the last one. There's no bonus. Snap out of it. 1987 character, actor, actress, or movie. And there we go. And there we go. Okay, I got to figure out where I'm going to put Robin. Copying off the line. And me, because because it says four and I'm supposed to be in two. You're supposed to be in two. Okay, so you're being sent to four, but you need to go to two. Okay, let's see. Who's going to get the lucky person? Oh my gosh, they're so close. I don't know. I don't know if I should send Robin in there. The whole thingy disappeared susan i didn't get a chance to click it oh you didn't go well it should be it should be over to the side somewhere because it's not gonna let me give it to you again it should be there somewhere it's not anywhere it's supposed I'm to go to room two it says not yeah. join. oh I, oh i guess i can join it okay yeah okay what am i gonna do with robin if i put her on that team they're only one point behind everybody God, that'd be really like a ton of people in that room. So who is losing people? I think I'm going to put her in five. Okay. They're tied with almost everybody else. So there you go. Kevin, are you all right? You're muted, Kevin. Are you pointing to the ceiling? Am I supposed to be looking at? What am I looking at up there? One way to God. One way. One way. Only one way to Jesus. One way. One way. Are you not able to get to your room? No. Uh, he's giving a thumb. And he's got, uh, it sounds like two words. Starts with W. Is it Wordle? It start, it's Wordle. The word is Wordle. It's a five-letter word. Um, you're in room five. 
you're supposed to be in room five and it's um you're supposed to be um no i'm good i was in the middle of writing an email to brian oh okay well go to your room i'm sitting here yeah but i i I had to get the email done because that was almost done okay who it is i'll I'll just say i was glad when karen got added onto our team yes (laughs) what am i peanut butter and jelly i mean come on now oh hello Eddie Davis, absolutely. You know. One of the best movies of all time called All About Eve. Okay, so show me the money is is what that is Tom Show me the money. Show yeah, know, me the money. You know it's Tom Cruise and the other guy that was his co-star, but what was the name of the movie? Which one are you talking about? Number four. It's a, it's a person's name. It's not it's not Rain Man. First name starts with a J. Last name is Irish. Well, no, 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 no. Which one are you talking about? Because there's Jack Nicholson. Um... So number four. The, the okay. movie is a man's name, and his first name starts with J. Oh, Jerry Maguire. There you go. Oh, Maguire. Yeah, that's Tom right. Cruise and Cuba Gooding Jr. or something like that, right? You okay, can't you can't handle, handle the truth. Man. That's a few good men, right? Is it a few good men? Yeah, because that's, uh, what's his name? Uh, Jack Nicholson there. Yeah. Right. We Rob Banks. Is that Bonnie and Clyde? That's what I guessed. I don't know it. And the year's about right. I think the the year's about right. I don't know. Was there a movie in 67 about them? Yeah, yeah. With uh, Faye Dunaway, Warren Beatty, and the the one that played the little kid on Star Trek. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Right. The, the, not the teenager, not the little kid. The teenager. Okay, now I saw this exact scene, number eight. Uh, oh, Plastics is uh, uh, the, the graduate. graduate. Yes, the graduate. yes. What? I don't remember that. Yeah. Plastic. It, that, Plastic. The guy, the guy, I have one the, word the for you. Plastic. It's the future. Oh, okay. I saw the guys, I wasn't, ever, I wasn't paying attention on, to any. Hey, plot. on that, did you guys ever see um, the Woody Allen um, uh, Love and Death? Yeah. And when the, when the old guy comes and he, he says I I've, I've saved I you know I set aside a plot of land for you or something like that and he pulls out a little little thing of dirt with a little toy house on it anyway you have to see it. Okay. <laughs> this one's so, airplane but surely now hang can't. on a second and it's Wait, what not Susan doing it's, here it's uh, she she is she is a Carl I'm playing Carl oh I haven't been here for so long I forgot okay. to I always play the character of the person who so left. here's the deal here's the I'm deal never any help, but... think of them imagine them in the cockpit of the plane there's no, wait, Simpson a and Liam Eastman Liam Neesman no, no, no. this no. is airplane the comedy Susan yeah no the problem is it's not Leslie Nielsen that's he's correct talking, he's the I'm one trying... that says don't call me Shirley. Shirley, and I'm trying because I just saw it the other day, and I. OJ cannot... Simpson. So, <laughs> no, the two people that are with him are the stewardess, played by Julie right. Haggerty, and the, the guy that ends up with at the controls, which is Robert Hayes. But I don't know which one of them says Shirley. You can't be serious. I think uh, maybe it was a guy. guy. Was one... It was. It was for sure a guy. Who he? Who okay, he Robert Hayes. To, then I think. How do yeah. you know these things? Yeah. How do you remember these things? <laughs> I just don't understand. That's funny because it sounds so much like a um, Gene Wilder kind of statement. No, it's the movie yeah. was called Airplane. Oh, I remember it. I remember it. Yeah, but it's just, it's also. Oh, yeah, yeah. it is kind of a, it's a Mel Brooks kind of style. Yeah, right. I thought it was. Did Mel Brooks do Airplane? I thought it was. No. What's it? It's not. I thought it wasn't Robert Hayes. I thought it was the other guy. The. Um, Le- you're thinking Leslie Nielsen. Who yeah, Vincent? Leslie Nielsen. No, no he Vincent, says he's, he's the one that says don't call because he call me it, it character one, character two. So everybody knows that Leslie Nielsen said don't call me Shirley. Not everybody can remember who he was talking to. Yeah, it was either Julie oh, Haggerty no. or Robert Hayes, and someone said they know it was a man. So then it's Robert Hayes. I'm, I think I'm pretty sure it was a it was a guy he was talking to. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Robert Hayes sounds right. Okay. Number nine. I don't know. Listen to me, mister. You're my knight in shining armor. Don't you forget it. You're going to go back on that horse. I'll be right behind you, holding tight. Is this uh, City Slickers? 
I've never seen. Uh, it could be it could be one of those city slicker, but is that uh, blazing saddles? No, oh, it wouldn't, okay. it wouldn't be blazing city slickers or. Um, is that too early for city slickers? Was city slickers in seemed, later in the not eighties? It seems that's, what, I, that's what I'm wondering. That may be a little early. Um, city slickers or. Of course, and I'll be right behind you, holding tight, and away we're gonna go. When was Princess Bride? Not that's that's, that's about the that's it's about that time. It's between like that and eighty six. Princess Bride was. But that no, that, sure. that, that, that's not Princess how, Bride. That, that doesn't it's not too harsh for that. Yeah. Yeah, I've I've seen that things too many times not to have recognized that uh, that line. Why? Okay. Um, eighty one. Uh, was it, what was the, what was the three, uh, there was the three amigos. Uh, yeah, okay, so. put that there. But, you know, well, you know what, if we're going to guess, let's piss everybody off and say Star Wars, because we know it's not in Star Wars. <laughs> I'm not sure I follow that logic. <laughs> um, okay, let's come back to it. I'll do another impersonation for number 10. <laughs> Snap out of it. <laughs> I'm glad we're recording. no 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 that that really that rings the bell and uh, snap out of it. Of course, that could also be airplane. <laughs> That's the and the and the and I remember the characters uh, slap somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Snap out of it. I got you, Wait. babe. But I can't remember the movie. All right, what is it? A chair Karen? show? <laughs> okay, Karen, what is it? It has he she slaps Nicolas Cage. She looks really pretty. She's a single word celebrity who also sings. Share. Ding 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 ding. Is that what you want me to put? Just share? Moonstruck. Moonstruck. Oh, right. oh, okay. All right. Snap oh, out of okay. it. Why did she say that? Because because Johnny Camareri is who she's engaged to, but his brother, who is estranged from him, won't come to the wedding, and he ends up falling in love with Cher, and she smacks him and says, snap out of it, and then they I have passionate I sex. I remember that, yeah. How do you remember this stuff by their names and everything? She, she Karen, I want to exp- know what's... I, want, I think they should... Look into your know. brain Look, and see. Some what, people what? remember the periodic table of elements and formulas. I remember faces and names and music and songs and stuff. She uh, she won uh, she won the uh, Oscar for that one, that she movie. Did. Yeah. Karen did. Hey, you'd like the concert I'm playing tomorrow night, Karen? Uh, we're doing uh, a whole bunch of like uh, Broadway and Broadway and Hollywood uh, oh. uh, stuff. Yeah. You should go over to Chicago tomorrow. That's right. I'll get you a ticket. So what is number nine? Number nine? It's not, it's not Star Wars? No. I don't know. Listen Possibly to me. Possibly City Slickers, but that's we have to a little put something. too early. Maybe we, Princess we, there's Bride. One we don't know? But yeah, put City Slickers Prince. then. Put City Slickers if that's all we have. Yeah. But Alan, I didn't know number one at all, and you knew it. Yay! One in a row. All right, there you go. <laughs> now let's make sure we have the right category for each thing. Movie. Act, actor. Don't put Tom Cruise. Put Jerry Maguire, just in case Cuba Gooding Jr. said it. Yeah, they, they yelled it back and forth, so it was, yeah. Uh, and Jerry Maguire. Just put we Jerry want the Maguire. movie. Yeah, you need the, You want to put that. You get the movie. Man, Bonnie and Clyde, the graduate, Robert Hayes, City slickers and share. Okay. Good. We got it anyway. Good. Yeah. We okay. got at least eight. We got at least eight. Does anyone need more time? Because I didn't mean to click close breakout rooms. We're good. Everybody's good. I speak for the crowd. Okay. And, that was a <laughs> topic. And we had Karen. <laughs> All right. Bonus room's good. All right. Uh, you need to stop recording temporarily.
Okay, I'll pause the video. Play pasty as we do the chat. So my so, my computer went down. What were what was one and two? They're coming oh. in the chat. Oh, thank you, Carl. Can you Fine. just read through the answers for the recording? Yeah, I will because... as soon as I get them posted in the chat. I will do that. Yes, absolutely. You were already going to do that. Okay. Yes. Carl is a okay. So for the recording, <laughs> number Surely one was do that. the character George M. Cohen, played by James Cagney in Yankee Doodle Dandy. Number two, the movie was Sudden Impact, uh, which was my uh, hint because I thought it might be too hard so when I said this may be a blow for impact, but uh, at least one team would have gotten it without that. I was not reading too much into a team. Uh, number three, character Margot Channing played by Betty Davis, All About Eve. Number four, uh, even though the American Film Institute attributes this to only one character and actor, since two different characters said it, I will accept either Rod Tidwell, played by Cuba Gooding Jr., or Jerry Maguire, played by Tom Cruise in the movie Jerry Maguire. Number five, Colonel Nathan Jessup in A Few Good Men. Number six, Clyde Barrow, played by Warren Beatty, or Bonnie Parker, played by Faye Dunaway in Bonnie and Clyde in yet another one where only one of the two actors was credited by the American Film Institute. That Number, Bonnie or Clyde? Uh, it's Clyde, and I couldn't decide whether it's because it was a man or because he said it first in the movie. Got it. It's because he was a man. <laughs> <laughs> Number seven, Mr. McGuire, played by Walter Brook in The Graduate. Number 10, Ted Stryker, played by Robert Hayes. Number nine, Ethel Thayer, played by Katherine Hepburn in On Golden Pond. And pretty much most of these movies, other than maybe Sudden Impact, if you haven't seen it, you should see it. Caspin, don't bring some of those over. <laughs> Ken, trying to uh, show me movies. I, I don't want to Number 10 from photos. one of my oldest sister's favorite movies, the character L Loretta Castriani, played by Cher in Moonstruck. The only one of those in. movies you said you liked, I would, I hate. So, no, just bring oh, over the, the uh, oh, I'm bring sorry, over the I Tom Cruise that. ones. All about Eve is an incredible movie. I was thinking of The Graduate. Oh, I liked it. I, I wouldn't saw watch it, it again. Twice in a row in film class with the commentary on. No, I, I wouldn't think I'd like it with the again. commentary. You just have to watch it, not not enjoy it for that reason. You have to. Can you find hey, a Tom Carl. Cruise movie playing Wordle? <laughs> yeah, no. Don't bring Tom Cruise to my house either. Well, right? then you um, can you can go spend your time watch uh, Blues Brothers. Yeah, that yeah. is definitely Alan's a favorite good, movie. That is an excellent movie. Okay, so let's do our chat now. Look at these scores. Look at how close everybody is, except for the third one. All right, so let's see. I put uh, I put uh, Robin in uh, which room did I put you in? Five. I, I know think. every question had a correct answer, but I don't know if anybody got a ten. Robin, did I put you in five? I think I did. Okay, so let's go with. Uh, may I have a pillow with that Hardy's burger? Seven. Okay. And let's go with uh, the leaky pins. Five. Ooh. Mazel tuff. Four. What? Oh. Yeah, this one's the wrong was a answer. Tough one. Is part of our strategic plan. Ten. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Woo. Wow. Wow. Okay. Alan had a run in with the queen. Got nine. We have a chance. You did pretty good without your leader. Okay, everyone. Thank you for a lovely evening. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks, Brian. 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 Thanks, Brian.
It's snarky quotes, insults, and put downs. Uh -huh. Okay, right let's see how she's going to do that. Okay, here comes the mute hammer. And don't forget to unmute yourself, Cindy. Boom. Muted. Hey, can you put in the chat um, the title? Yeah. Um, yeah, that's what I'm getting ready to. Okay. Uh, all right, work this week. Snarky quotes, insults, and put downs. So I'm going to give you a list of quotes. So you're going to match the quotes to the wit, or you're going to or the wits to the quotes, whichever way you want to go. Okay. First one is: Suppose you were an idiot, and suppose you were a member of Congress. But I repeat myself. Second one, this report by its very lean defends itself against the risk of being read. Three, I just learned about his illness. Let's hope it's nothing trivial. <laughs> Number four, I doubt there's ever been a true thing said on Fox. Maybe the weather report, maybe not. Uh, number four, I doubt there's ever been a true thing said on Fox. Maybe the weather report, maybe not. Five, he is one of those people who would be enormously improved by death. <laughs> number six, I did not attend his funeral, but I sent a nice letter saying that I approved of it. <laughs> Seven, your life story will not make a good book. Don't even try. Eight, he had delusions of adequacy. 10, I mean, number, number 10, number nine, I'm sorry, number nine. He has no enemies, but is intensely disliked by his friends. <laughs> there we go. And then he inherited some good instincts from his Quaker forebears, but by diligent hard work, he overcame them. <laughs> Ooh, these are some yeah. So we're supposed to know. No, no. I'm gonna. Oh. The next part of this is going to be a list of wits to choose from. Oh, okay. So we're gonna match them. Right. And so there are more wits listed than there are quotes. Evil. So, so you gotta have some of them left over. Okay, so the list of wits, you know, be advised there are more wits and quotes. Fran Leibowitz, John Stewart, Mark Twain, Voltaire, Stephen Colbert, or Colbert, Jonathan Swift, Winston Churchill, Churchill, Dorothy Parker, Clarence Darrow, James Weston, Walter Carr, or Kerr, Irvin S. Cobb, H. H. Monroe, Samuel J Johnson, Noel Coward, Will Rogers, David Sedaris. So those are your choices. And you're going to match them up with the quotes. Okay. Okay. 
So I like I, this category. <laughs> okay. So where do I go to put people in the room? I forgot which I one will I do have. that. Okay. So, all right, let's go. You should have special powers to be able to move around the room, Cindy. But spend a little time in your own room. For the obvious reason, you'll be able to see that see it later. Okay, so I'm going to join room four. You can join room four and then move anywhere you want to go. Janine, I need to put you in two. For some reason I had was asked to put you in your room. Okay. Okay. So, so you can move anywhere you want. Okay, dokie. What do you think? Anybody know any of these? Well, I know uh, one of them heart. is about Nixon, the Quaker okay. Quaker one, number ten. Well, who would have said that about Nixon? Um, let me look at the list of names again. It would definitely not be Voltaire or Mark Twain. That's true. We can't eliminate a few. Oh, it's a chat, huh? Nixon. Who would have said H.R. Morrill? H. H. Morrill, maybe or. I don't know. Number four is either John Stewart or Stephen Colbert. I would agree with that. That sounds more like a oh, Stephen right Colbert joke. Mm -hmm. To me, just uh, the way it's phrased. But, you know, again, that's. Uh, I guess I'll cut. Probably these, none of these are disappear. Clean. Everybody attributes everything to Mark Twain, so I doubt it's one of any of these are Mark Twain. Number could number ten be John Stewart? <laughs> Talking about him. Yeah, I, don't, I, I don't know a lot of these people. Would that have been something said that recent? I don't know. Could be. That sounds kind of John Stewartish, but yeah, but I don't, know, I don't know half the people on this list. There are how many people? How many? Are they names that are 17? Mm -hmm. I know. One, two, three. Well, David Sedaris is from this time. Fran Lebowitz. Yeah, 17. So oh, there's going to be a lot of extras. Here. Yes. Um, I almost wish we had less answers. <laughs> I know, this going to be hard. Yeah. Okay, so David Sedaris is who? He's like he, a radio commentator, author yeah. type guy. I would think number one for him. I was thinking more like the Fox News. I don't think it's Colbert. It's not funny enough. Yeah, that was too obvious for Colbert. Yeah, Colbert yeah so well, much funny. one is one David Sedaris is a really good guess. Hmm. H. 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 Murrow, I believe, was a um, like a political. I think he was a newspaper person. Uh, I think he was a reporter or something, investigative reporter. And that's the only reason why I'm thinking it was Nixon related because it seems like it's about that era. So who are we talking I'm about? Not, Which one? I'm not 100% sure, but I, I out of the list, that's kind of who I would think. Which name? For um, H.H. Murrow. For Mon which one? Monroe. H.H. H. 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 Monroe. For number 10? Yeah. Is that Monroe? I thought he was a newspaper person. Fran Lebowitz is, um, is that a producer? or a... She's a comedian. Oh, this is really not, hard if they're all. You're not thinking of like Edward R. Uh, Mur or Mur yeah, you know what? Yeah. I might be thinking of Edward R. Yeah. Murrow. Okay. I don't so, know. Maybe that's I don't why know I was who... like, this is H.H. <laughs> Monroe, which I have no idea who that is. I've never heard of that before. Could um Bill your Cower, life story will not make a good book? Don't even try be Mark Twain. I don't think any Mark Twain. I think he's a, just a red herring. Okay. Yeah. Could number two be Winston Churchill? Yeah, that sounds that, that sounds yeah, that, that sounds like Winston Churchill. Like say. <laughs> yeah, he would say something like that. The report, but it's very like defends itself against the risk of being read. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I know you guys said this isn't funny enough, but maybe the weather report, maybe not. That's like his, like the way he's 
So I, I I still get a Stephen Colbert vibe, but I could be wrong. I don't know. Uh, I just learned about his illness. Let's hope it's nothing trivial. Versions about. I mean, I've heard these quips, but there's no way I would know them, especially if they're comedians, because comedians are always saying something witty and funny. If it was somebody who was not a comedian, I think I would probably remember it better. Right. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to be so terrible on this round. I apologize. Down on the list? Will Rogers, who's Will Rogers? He was a he was a very famous cowboy movie star. Peggy is asking for help, so let me go find. You can't leave. We need you. No, I'm. Oh yeah, I'm such a help. I'm gonna, <laughs> send, um, I'm gonna send um Cindy to room. Oh, know, she's already in five. Know. What about Jonathan Swift for number seven? Do you know who he is? He's this author. Sure. What'd you say, Jonathan Swift? Swift for number seven. For seven? Yeah, since you think Mark Twain is a red hair. Um, I say do a write-in of Christopher Hitchens. <laughs> <laughs> Where would I don't? Wolf I Hare don't go? see. I don't see um, Jonathan Swift saying that. Uh, Jonathan Swift's probably. Well, who do you see saying? We we have like we're gonna have seven extra. Yeah, so I don't. We're gonna have a lot. Who did you think said it? Said what? Your life story will not make a good book. Don't even try. Uh, Irving Cobb. Irving Cobb. Who's Irving that? Irving S. Cobb. Oh, Irving S. Cobb. Well, that oh, that, that, that makes all the F difference, Cobb. Kyle. F. Cobb. You know. I think Voltaire said number three. <sighs> no. I don't think Voltaire said any of these. Okay, then give us some answers, Susan. Quit I'm shooting getting, everything down out. and actually hey, be productive. I'm knocking out the ones that can't possibly be true. So I'm Okay, like, it's Clarence Darrow. I don't know who the fuck he is. Oh, Clarence. <laughs> you know who he is, right? He's no, the, I don't. Yes, you do. He's the very I famous don't. attorney who uh, was the... The Clarence monkey Darrow. trial. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah Snopes monkey, monkey trial. Yeah, yeah. Monkey trial. Very famous, yeah. very witty. Fox trials. Okay. So if he said something, let me see which one he would have said. Maybe six. No, that that's an old quote. Five, maybe. May, I think he's a red herring. He's old. <laughs> <laughs> Dorothy Parker is she a novelist or mystery writer or something? Don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This 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 round is very hard. What about I hope Tom I hope Tom everyone Tom else does terrible Brand because legal. we're not going to do well. <laughs> no uh, coward is a no coward is a wasn't he a British? And who's Samuel Johnson? No um, coward. Somebody else help me. Who is he? He's a he's an actor, right? A British actor. He's a coward. <laughs> <laughs> no I idea. Think... No idea. I don't know who hardly any of these people are. Well, I mean, I kind of yeah. know who they are, but it doesn't help any. Yeah, I know who. Walter Fran, Fran Lebowitz, John Stewart, Mark Twain. Yeah, that's it. Um, I would say eight Fran Lebowitz. She's yeah. the lady that took weird pictures of babies, right? No, oh, that's, that's um, Ann Gettys. Oh. She, <laughs> babies. she bent sleeping babies into a very odd mm -hmm. thing. And then they oh. pooped themselves. Um, Walter. So you Kirk. said Fran Leibowitz for which one? Eight? Eight? Yeah. All right. I mean, it's okay. talking about a man. So, but then again, so a lot of the other ones do too. I think, she, yeah. I don't know if she's a lesbian. He has no enemies, but is intensely disliked by his friends. Okay. Um, yeah, you guys. I need to make an announcement. I left off someone from the Wits. You want to add Oscar Wilde to the Wits? Okay. Oh, okay. That, there you go. Number nine is Oscar Wilde. We should put Oscar Wilde on everything. That way we know we have. What, you, what are you saying, uh, Faith? Oh, is he remaining. said nine? Number nine. Yeah. Put him for That's all the I remaining guesses. <laughs> Susan says Mark Twain is a red herring. So, who? 
Mark Twain. Oh, of course. Uh, he said some. He said some interesting things. I just don't know how much he commented about other people. What are you doing over He's, there? He was always, and everything was attributed to him. He was Walter Cronkite. Hey, I got a fan. Oh, this is Walter Cronkite. Now it's gone. Oscar Wilde. We well, put him for nine. Back, there's a reason why one of these is an Oscar Wilde quote. So. Yeah, we picked it already. Number nine. Them off. Is it that easy? Okay, I'll I'll look at Oscar Mayer. Oh Oscar my Meyer. fucking god. <laughs> Oscar Mayer. <laughs> I'm an Oscar Mayer wiener. Just I, I get the feeling that Ramiro just plays dumb to annoy you, Faith. Not, not no, he, he doesn't. Has, no, he not doesn't. Not because he really doesn't know it. He, he does he's so just doing it to, to annoy buttons. you. He does it so we have inside jokes later, and I thought of making a category about our inside joke. <laughs> I'm not sure. There might fun. be a little too much information. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, okay, let me hold on. I'm still formatting this. Uh -huh. He is one of those people who would be enormously improved by death. One of these has got to be John Stewart. Come on, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Which, Which one, one do we all? like? Three. I could see him saying three. I could see him saying five. I can see him saying six. Three and five are the same joke. Sorry. Yeah. Yep, pretty much. Which makes sense that I could see him commenting Damn. on something. Okay, let me see. All right, so Oscar Wilde, what are we missing now? I could see Oscar Wilde saying three. I could see him saying five. What about nine? Yeah. That's, that's what we slotted him in at. Nine. <laughs> I'd say John Stewart for number three. Is that when Trump caught COVID? Did he say that? No, because he wouldn't have said, let's hope it's not. He didn't Trump. have a show at that time. I, I was going to say, yeah, over. he was, he was not, he was I without show. I saying everything that yeah. we haven't got something for. But, oh. but Nixon would have been. Would John Stewart, because somebody mentioned him even making the quote about Nixon, but I don't know. Would he have said no, something Rob, about somebody yeah. that that long yeah. ago? I don't know. No. Um, what do we like uh, John Stewart better having... for? Three, five, or six? Think... Not six. Why would he talk about a letter? That's yeah. antiquated. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so Churchill might have said six. Is We've already Churchill? got Churchill. We got Churchill for two. I think Mark Twain for six. Go for I it. I could see no, that. No, not Oscar Wilde. I thought I copied it already, but apparently I didn't. We're doing it. We're putting him. We're just yeah. putting even, him in. even though, even <laughs> though Susan thinks it's a red herring, we're putting him. Why not? He says things. Okay, so I heard, it, just it, learned this... about his illness. Let's hope it's nothing trivial. Uh, Voltaire. Who do we got left? You're going to have to... Voltaire, Dorothy Parker, Will Rogers, people don't we don't know. who these people are. <laughs> I mean, of course I know Clarence Darrow. Dead and people. Rogers. Some of them might be alive. Samuel, is Samuel Johnson, Samuel L. Johnson? The no. Actor? No, that's Samuel, that's Samuel L. Jackson. L. Jackson. Oh, oh. <laughs> Um, Samuel. Who is who is uh, who's Voltaire? He's a writer from the 1600s. No, I was thinking three. Oh, Voltaire. Voltaire couldn't have said anything like that. He wouldn't have said. Well, who who else would we? Voltaire who would not have said, have said the word two. I'm going to ask Samuel Jackson what the temperature is. <laughs> okay, last that on our device. Clarence Darrow would have said. Do you know number three or number ten? I can see Clarence Darrow possibly saying three. Will Rogers had a show, oh, and God. he used to say the most cleverest things. He had a, a TV, or maybe it wasn't TV, but he oh, had a maybe it was a radio show, and he used to he was zinger after zinger after zinger. If we get like higher than three, I'm gonna be amazed because we're oh, just who said throwing stuff there and guessing. Breaker forebears. I'm gonna be pissed off if anybody hits ten. I'm gonna I'm gonna knock the score off. 
just to knock it off. I'm going to say, you don't have a 10. No one's <laughs> allowed. Oh, who, who are we going to go for number 10? Urban College. It's like when a Urban judge college. vacates a verdict. They say, uh-uh. So who are we going to put for number 10? Romero says Urban S. Cobb. Oh, okay. I'm just guessing. Of course. I don't it's even know who Urban S. Cobb is. The era of Nixon or later. Will Rogers? No. Walter Kerr or Carr? I don't know who that is. Do Murrow. H.H. whatever his name is. Because Monroe. H.H. H. H. Monroe. Monroe. There's not, that's not Monroe. And Mon Samuel Johnson, Monroe. not Jackson. Monroe. 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 <laughs> that's Monroe. Doesn't Marcellus Wallace look like a bitch? <laughs> Who put these snakes on this motherfucking plane by <laughs> Samuel Johnson? <laughs> It's the I one that says guy. bad motherfucker on it. I don't the know. rumor is is they engraved oh, that on his lightsaber when he was in the prequels. Alexa, oh, can I talk to Samuel? <laughs> I couldn't find that name. In the ah, phone yeah, I got activated on the Should phone. we put H.H. Monroe just because yeah. uh, Susan keeps can't. mispronouncing it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't know who that is. That's the only one we get right. I don't even know who that is. So. I, don't I don't. I don't care. We don't know who H.H. Monroe is. We don't. We will know. We don't. I don't trust H. anybody with are. a silent Debbie, this N. is hard. I'm gonna Google who H.H. H. Monroe is later. Well, she's gonna tell us probably who it is. All right. I think we have an answer for everything. <laughs> I have no idea if any of them are right. Maybe but... you might have just taken. Why, why did Wait. people tear that said number ten? Check nope. if the first letter spells something. <laughs> <laughs> you you suck. Out. I like it. That was amazing. You got a perfect 10 and didn't even. <laughs> With the wrong it. clue. Uh, <laughs> okay, if we get a perfect 10, we're going to get the 10. If anybody else gets 10, they're not getting 10. They're getting 9. Oh, okay. Because it ain't, it ain't happening. Cindy, Ben was just saying, if we get over three, he's going to be shocked. <laughs> we guessed on so many of these. <laughs> she oh left. God. She's like, I'm out of here. deductive here. reasoning. Oh, my God. That's not even good <laughs> deductive reasoning. Yeah. You, you over sorry. here going, who irons people's clothes? I can't believe they have run look water. at the first letter like, and see care. what it's spelled out either. On I the, do not on the Wordle give a one. shit That's a if Wordle has running water or not. Did you guys get Wordle? Did you get that and then it spelled a word? Yeah, we we didn't realize it spelled the word, but mm -hmm. we got all the answers right just because we saw that it was all five letter five words. Letters. Yeah, yeah, Faith picked up on the five. So letters because of that, we changed like what three answers, three of our yeah. answers to five letter versions, and it all worked out. That was, was almost like, the first thing we said. We're like, oh look, there's a, they're all five letter words. Yeah, oh, totally, it's didn't wordle the, related? totally didn't totally make the didn't wordle connection because we're. I think there's no wordle done. players here, huh? Oh, I play wordle. I play. God, we, we need to stop talking about that stupid game. <laughs> Keeps coming up everywhere. Wordle. 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 It was so Wordle. hard. Wordle. Yeah, time, tra time traveling sci-fi movie where you go back Wordle. in time and then kill the guy Wordle. who invented Wordle. Wordle. I would never Wordle. do that. He's Barry. a nice guy. I, I, I met him. He's no, a nice no, guy. But that's what, that's what Susan's going to do. Wordle. I Susan's going to be the one who goes back in time fast, instead of killing he's Hitler. Fast, he's a fast instead buddy. Of killing Hitler. Hitler. Come on. No, I'm going to go back in time and claim that I invented Wordle no. and Mark Susan will refuse to go back in time simply because she hates time travel movies. Yeah. I will do it just to do that. But I'm going to associate it with. Okay, anyway, Cindy. Yes, I would, I would I go back in time, invent Wordle, and she, sell it to the New York she's Times. She's going to go yeah. back in time yeah. and she's going to hate every lightning. minute of it. Strike him with lightning. Yeah. I, it oh, works can I ever it. tell you? I've been struck by lightning. Cindy, can you get us out of this? That explains a lot. Are you, are you, you guys are ready for the end right. times? And she yes. used to be a brunette, we right? We don't even know who half these people are. <laughs> no. We've Answer. all heard the quotes, but we don't know Answer. who the people are. This is hard. All right. You get a solid six. Explain five, to maybe. us. Six. Five or six. Two. Four. <laughs> yeah, we all guess now what we're gonna get. Sandy, well, what do we do? Well, we'll never find yeah. out. It's, nobody tells us. The the bonus is if you guess the amount the right the amount that you got. We were desperate. Yeah. We were looking at the first letter of each word to see if it made it. <laughs> three. 
It says Wordle quote cult. You didn't get you know, the memo. Can we get to the answers? You know, it's almost midnight. Yeah. And, and we still have a bonus round. It's almost 1 a.m. for me. Yeah, same here. It's almost 10 yeah. o'clock at night here. Well, that first person took a long time getting all the questions done. Uh, <laughs> where's the answer person? <laughs> Susie's all done. right. Oh, so Mark Mute Tony everybody. Herring. Mute everybody and oh. the answer is just oh, no, here's the okay. guys. Calm down. All right. Are you ready for the answers? Did I put yes. them in the chat room? Yeah. Okay, so the first one's by Mark Twain. Sorry, guys. Yay. <laughs> So I, I couldn't find anywhere else. I mean, sometimes some of these quotes were attributed to different people, and the ones that were, I, I took them off. Um, number two, Winston Churchill. Mm. Number three, I got one right. Got it right. I just, I just learned about his illness. Let's hope it's nothing trivial. It, it's by Irvin S. Cobb. I don't know who he is, but, <laughs> but that's a good snarky remark. We don't know who it is either. Um, he must have been a, a man of letters. Um, number four, I doubt there's ever been a true thing said on Fox. Maybe the weather report, maybe not. That's Fran Lieberwitz, our modern day wit. Yes, there's a movie about her on Netflix called Pretend as a City. I recommend that movie. Okay. Um, number five, he is one of those people who would be enormously improved by death. H.H. Monroe. He was a snarky <laughs> short story writer um, in the late 1800s, early 1900s, who unfortunately died early because he was involved in World War I. He got shot. Oh. His pen name is Saki, but all the information on him now is under H.H. H. Monroe. Oh. And he was English and he did not like the upper class. <laughs> Number six, I did not attend his funeral, but I sent a nice letter saying I approved of it. That's Mark Twain again. Um, your life story would not make a good book. Don't even try. That's also Fran Lieberwitz. Oh, did anybody say that we could have the same choice yeah. more than once? You don't Nobody have to say you it. You can't. You didn't say yeah. we couldn't. Right. You did, if you... We made that pretty sure. too. I, I know some people, in some of the rooms, some people had Mark Twain down twice. So I actually met Twain 10 of them. <laughs> we'll get at least two points we would have gotten two if we'd done that maybe yes we, so far we got four okay eight he had delusions of adequacy that was said by Walter Kerr or Carr I don't know how he pronounces his name but he was a drama critic in the 40s 50s or the 40s and 50s he also wrote plays and uh, wrote songs but um yeah, he was a drama critic. So he's probably criticizing some kind of actor. <laughs> Number nine, he has no enemies, but is intensely disliked by his friends. That that one is Oscar Wilde. I think a lot of people got that right. He inherited some good instincts from his Quaker forebears, but by diligent hard work, he overcame them. James Reston. That's about Nixon, right? About Nixon. Yeah. Yes, about yeah. Nixon's. I knew that, but I had no idea who said it. <laughs> Not much help there, you guys. I knew it couldn't be Voltaire or Sir, no. Sir Edmund Blackadder. You couldn't get a clue during the clue mating season in the field full of clues and heat if you smeared your body with clue musk and did the clue mating dance. I love Blackadder. Blackadder! Blackadder! Uh, that was cruel, Cindy. Scores. It was. I okay, but let's see if we it takes some down a notch. I already made a statement. If anybody get 10, you ain't. Hunch and Judy. Hunch and Judy. Nobody. Oh, no, we did well. Oh, yeah. It was a great category. It was well, fun. I like the All quote, right. but I was hard. Okay, it wasn't so let's easy. go with uh, Mazel. We got lucky. 
on two of them. Mazel we got tov. one. All right. <laughs> it's been such a fun night, have to say. The <laughs> leaky pens. You'll like it later, Rob. Uh, we got three. Ooh. Which I think what my guess was <laughs> that we were going to get. Three. Hey, that was that was her team. Okay, so may I have a pillow with that Hardy's burger? I think we have one. <laughs> this is awesome. I love this it when it's awesome. hard like this. I like it whenever people get taken down a notch. Getting the wrong. We didn't have any notches to go down. We were oh. already <laughs> getting the wrong answers is part of our strategic plot. We got plot. six. Whoa! Oh, very oh. good. That's why I said it was awesome. Alan had a run in with the queen. We got five. Wow. Oh, you. Look at we that. Did. Wow. I didn't realize we got that many. Wow. Yeah. Okay, bye, Susie. Game, John. And oh, I'm going to, I'm passing out now, Susie. too. Yeah. Well, it comes yeah. down Ron, to the bonus Ron, category, bye. which See is. You later. Hey, hey, cartoons. Sleep well. Pay attention to what's going on with Louie Ann, Tiffany, and Tiffany and that other chick, man. Yeah. I, I want to just smack her. They're they're going at it. I can't stand her. Ooh, <laughs> what? Are you talking about what? Are you, are you talking the about best Louis comic Anne, strip in the Louis history Anne? of the world. Tiffany Louis stopped. Oh, don't know they I stopped mean. carrying it in the paper. So I don't. I watch. I read it anymore. on the on, I have a mobile thing. Okay. Yeah, I don't have time for that. Last. Oh no, I have. The, the last quarter, category is lame. It's really lame. Bob, oh, Robin, Mama, you're gonna no. hate it too. It's been Good a boring job, night. This is a boring, boring category. I, like, I hope we I didn't like do it before. I gotta go. So see you guys. Bye, Bye. James. Bye, James. The category is tire Hi. manufacturers. Nice to see you. What? Tire Hi. manufacturers. I've fallen asleep right as, now. As right. long as there's no mono rules, I'll be okay. The, no, no. I found a list from 20, 2020 and 2021 that listed the world's leaders in tire manufacturing companies. The list is 30 people, 30 companies long. You just have to name any 10 anywhere on the list. Wow. I, I nice. did this myself and only came up with five. So. Oh. Okay. Okay. Of the largest tire manufacturers in the world, I have a list of 30. If it's on the I, list, you get a point. Like tire, oh, like oh, T-I-R-E. Oh. Tire man, like car tires. T-Y-R-E. Yeah, yeah. They don't have car tires, right? They could be like similar. Tire cars. manufacturers. They make them for cars, trucks, whatever. They're largest tire manufacturers in the world. Bicycles? Hey. I no. think they're cars, to be honest with you. All right. Motor vehicle. vehicle. Category was airplanes. Large airplanes and motor vehicle. Largest They're all by CD revenue, not tires. diameter. Yeah. All right, you guys, you were saying no, that I mean, such a hurry. No, not the, not you. monster truck tires. No. Car tire manufacturers, like the Six, common names Six, you know. Let's go to our room. Up with 10. I, I'm dying to see what. So, Kevin, are these going to be mostly like brands of tires that we would know? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. Let's go. What if we only have the actors. Go to your rooms. <laughs> Open the room. What's the name of the movie? <laughs> I tried. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, I've got to sign two people. Okay. All right. Janine. Well, we'll probably all come up with the same three. Michelin, well, I, I, Firestone. I'm not sure you I have one. Oh, Michelin. That's true. One. Then Firestone Cooper. is good. Firestone. Good year. Hankook. Hankook. You know the Hankooks? No. No idea. Um, I've got Tony the tiger. Oh, he, no, he's gasoline. Okay, so we have Goodyear, Michelin, Ooh. Firestone, Hankook. What's Hancock? Cooper? Cooper? Yeah. Yes. Cooper? C O O P E R? Yes. For tires? Never heard of him. How isn't there a Tillamook or something like that? Or a Tillamook? Mm -hmm. That's cheese. Oh. <laughs> they might make tires too in the same factory. You never know. Well, they make cheese wheels, so maybe. <laughs> they, make a, they make a rubbery cheese. It's the name of a place, so it might. Right. Might uh, Does Honda make tires? They make a lot. Amazon. Good. Oh, there's also Goodrich. There's Goodyear. Good and Goodrich. Oh, yeah, that's oh, right. Goodrich. Yeah. I knew there was two that often. I couldn't remember the other good. How about Mutual there's of Omaha? 
There's a brand of tire that starts with V, like Velocitor or Velour or Blue, 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 Blue. Velocipede. No, I don't actually know. I'm going to ask my husband. V for Vendetta. Ask him for any others he can think of. This is really hard. Um, Mazda? How about, How about American Tires? American Tires. I think I think you're right, American. My I attempts to right. reach my husband were futile. He's asleep in his chair. Maybe can you throw right. me to another room, Susan? I can't oh. seem to move. You can't move? Caspian, you had one? B-A-S-F. That sounds familiar. Oh. It's a, that's it's a the German chemical giant. Yeah, they make uh, they make um, audio tape. Used to, maybe this. Yeah, tape. right. I just yeah. know that there was a huge artificial rubber industry in Germany that was built up under IG Farben during the war, and uh -huh. BASF I think might be the inheritor of those uh, mm. capabilities. Okay. Hmm. I mean, I don't think Bayer or Merck are doing it. So, how about Canadian or or Ooh, Canadian Tires? Is that really a tire? Seriously? Yes, brand? yes, it is. It is. Okay. Well, if we're gonna roll, how about Peru Tires? And I think like isn't like Mitsubishi a brand or something? I think I think there's a Japanese brand that's Honda, Mitsubishi, one of those or both well, of those. Mitsubishi is a huge conglomerate. Would not He's shock me. Got... We've Either got ten, so we want to, if you throw out more, we need to. Why don't you read off what we got so we can see? I got Michelin, Goodyear, Firestone, Hancock, Hancock, Cooper, Hancock, Good, Hancock, Cooper Goodrich, American, BASF, Canadian Tires. That's 10. Is that 10? Uh, I'm happy. So, I think we should so give I'm, it up. I'm least happy with is BASF. So if we have any other really good ideas, I would I'd be confident dropping that. Bob, I didn't get all 10. I need you to go slower. Okay. Michelin. Okay. Goodyear. Uh-huh. Firestone. Uh-huh. Hancock. I think it's Hancock. Unless there's a okay. Hancock. Is there a Hancock and a Hancock? I've, I've never, never heard of Hancock. I would just Sounds like a made up word. If, if it no, there's in, a hand kook. If it's close enough, then take it. All right. Cooper. Yeah, I remember Cooper tires. Palmer. Good, good rich. Isn't Palmer a tire? That was, an, I was in a. Yeah, but we're doing, was, we're doing the list as we We're have. just trying to consolidate what we got to make sure we have yeah. 10. American. Uh huh. BASF. Uh huh. And Canadian tires. That's I'm only getting nine. Again. Palmer is a tire. It was in a. a, a um, eight, it was nine. in a Sherlock Holmes. Oh. No, you're right. It's only nine. Okay. Did, did you put down Mitsubishi? Not yet. No. No, I put Mitsubishi move. over BASF. So. All right, we can switch switch it out. And and Susan has a Palmer. Palmer tires. Yeah, but that was 120 years ago, so. You've never heard of Palmer Tires? Not since I watched that Sherlock Holmes with the bicycle. <laughs> oh, it's a Sherlock Holmes reference. He, he, they, they have a bicycle in it that has Palmer Tires. When, when I learned cursive, it was the Palmer method. I'm taking it out because it's probably fake if it was in a Sherlock Holmes story. Why well, is it going to be on there? I, yeah, I know. We're all well, getting. As long as we get ten, I don't care. <laughs> this is. We're getting. We're getting Susan help. We need one more. We need one more <laughs> name. Job is to talk you guys out of it. Palmer tires. We figured this out. Yes. I, mean, I guess Palmer is fine if we only have nine. 
Yeah, that rhymes. Do we, do, does anybody remember seeing any kind of Formula One race or Indy race? And you know, they change all those tires and there's huge tire companies there. What tires do they use on those cars? Big ones. Never watched a race. It looks like there might be a Purcell or something like that. Purcell. What's that? There's a that um, bathing suit catalog from an Italian company. Is that a Pirelli. tire company? Is it? Pirelli. 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 That's a tire. That's definitely a tire. Pirelli. That's something. Well done, Bob. Come up with Italian. I don't know about the bathing suits, but I'm pretty sure for always the time. <laughs> no, I thought, and you have to, you have to get on their list. They don't just send it out to anyone. You have to like subscribe. You're on a list of people who receive. You have to have subscribed to this. No, smut, no, I, 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 I saw. Aficionados. I saw some pictures from it, and it was explained. It was a, just something I remember. One of those things that I don't even remember when I read it. So now we have Goodyear, Hancock, or Cook, Michelin. Firestone, Cooper, Goodrich, American, Mitsubishi, Canada Tires, and Pirelli. I think that's Dan. I think so. Yep. I'm good with that list. list. Okay. I've been throwing <laughs> Kevin from room to room. He's all over the place. Let me see how he's done. Let me put him in our room. All right. Is he sufficiently scrambled? He should be, because <clears throat> I don't think he's gotten through a full full sentence without being moved to another room. I think we're missing some really big. Are you dizzy, Kevin, bigger. from being? Yeah, that was kind of funny. I was talking in the middle of a sentence. They throw me to another room. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I'm, I'm going to do that from now Leave on. Leave me in I'm this room now because I, well, the game's over. It doesn't matter. Yeah, we did good. We came up with 10. Some people have a bunch of names that taken things off the list and some of them I never heard of and they're not on the list. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I don't know what they're talking about. Well, hopefully it doesn't happen to us. That's so. probably us too. <laughs> well, I don't know what your list is, no, but I, I found this list. It has 2021 and 2020 list of the top manufacturers in the world of tires. And I, I, I was going to do another cartoon round. And well, I talked to you earlier. This is a good earlier, one. I like this. Earlier you know, season when we, we talked found about out, the, We learned that Bob's a tire aficionado. He has a calendar of the each month is a different no, tire. I never had the calendar. I never heard of it until I saw some. It was something on line somewhere i was showing uh, some pictures and it yeah sure <laughs> but i don't remember the name of the i couldn't remember if it was a car or tires mm -hmm. yeah there's going to be one that's going to throw people there's one company that is no longer on the list that everybody thinks is on the list oh, it's dear. owned by another company they like they went out of business a few years ago and bought by somebody else so i bet we did that not on the list anymore i'm not sure if you guys have it or not but i know some other people did probably. Okay, people we probably do back. Probably do. Closing the rooms. Here we go. It's Circuit City tires. I know it's Palmer. Costco guy. Yeah, he was really interesting. He was talking to me for like you know for for a while after, but he had this bandage all over his ear, and I asked what happened, and he said he was basically reading, and he fell asleep, and he fell head first onto like a to the corner of a table, just about Ooh. took his ear off. It's like, oh man, I, that Are you sounds like the queen again. Well, <laughs> well, just to let you know, Vincent, uh, dying is the last thing I plan on doing. I plan to live forever or die trying. Was oh. that the end of the story, yeah. Alan? <laughs> uh, well, yeah, pretty much. I like that. Carl's going to live forever. Or die trying. Or, or die, die trying. trying. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Memorize more things. Tires. So, Susan, did you hear about the dyslexic devil worshiper? <laughs> Worship dog? No, he sold his soul to Santa. <laughs> okay, uh, that one I haven't heard. No. So how did Larry feel about these puns? I can't remember. Oh. Um, did he groan? Here. Okay. Now I can. I can't remember. I'll have to watch. I'll have to rewatch some of these videos. Uh, are, uh, are we all back? Answers? <laughs> okay. Try. Just when you thought we didn't have, we didn't, we did there was things. I think we're all back. No. Okay. Lar largest manufacturers oh. in the world. Tire manufacturers. Okay. Here's the link. That's the link with the answers, and I'll post the answers as well. I, I want to click. And you're going to yeah. say them for the recording audience, right? Sure. Yes. Number this one. Is gonna be a, this is going to be a silent category. Number one, Michelin. Number two, Bridgestone. 
<laughs> number three, Continental. Number four, Goodyear. Number five, Sumitumo. Number six, Hankook. Oh, you got Hancook. it. Thank you. Number seven, Pirelli. Mm -hmm. Number eight, Yokohama. Oh. Number nine, Jean's Rubber. Number 10, Maximus, Maxis. Number 11, Toyo. Good job, Jamie. Number 12, Ling Long. <laughs> Number yeah. 13, Giddy. Number 14, Koopa. Oh, oh Cooper. I've had those myself. Cooper, Cooper. Number 15, Apollo. <laughs> those are probably ones on the moon, I bet. Number oh, 16, Salon. Number 17, MRF. Number 18, Kumho. 19, Nokian. 20, oh, Nokia. Nixon. 21, Double Coin. 22, JK. 23, Triangle. 24, mm -hmm. Titan. Oh. 25, Seat. 26, Kenda. 27, Trelleborg. That's the one that, J that somebody was trying to say. Number 28, I can't even pronounce it, Gazuhao Tire. Oh, yeah, it's Chinese. Number 29, Prince Chekazan. And number 30, Alios. The one that's missing that people probably put was Goodrich. Goodrich oh, has been bought yeah, by somebody yeah. else a few years ago. It's no longer a ah. manufacturer. What happened to Firestone? They're owned that's by Bridgestone. part of Bridgestone. Bridgestone. Uh -huh. I think somebody should do a category of just the logos. <laughs> what about what about Remington? It's not on the list. It's a razor. <laughs> Remington it's Steel is also a, a tire. <laughs> Yeah, but it, I, but it was probably not a manufacturer. It's probably a brand of we're not one made of the by somebody largest. else. No, I'm not Kevin, one of the top 30. Kevin, I'm really glad you didn't show us pictures <laughs> of 30 tires. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been awesome. Oh, that would have been awesome. Per, per Google, Remington was owned by Goodyear, and they phased those tires out over 10 With years. With music, now. Karen. There'd be like a That's music. Awesome. Music. That's awesome. What would have been and, awesome and, if you had the just same the black tire. tire. Right, right. Just a tire. Scars. Fading Scars. In and out. Scars. <laughs> I love that idea. <laughs> Everybody That's would hilarious. hate him. They would hate him to be <laughs> But that would be funny as heck. I, I would I, retire I, after that. I, I, oh. I identify the car or the tire manufacturer by the tread. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the picture of the tire. Okay. Some of them are affiliated with a, an organization called Can we CSI. get the booby prize? <laughs> Maybe not. All right. Mazel tough. Tough. I think we got four. Four. Oh, four. Man. Oh, we're not losing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's because I haven't got anybody else's points. I on. know, I know. Okay, may I have a pillow with that Hardy's burger? Seven. Oh, nice. I mean, are you no, 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 husband tired? killed it? Wait, really? no, wait a minute. Now we 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 look like we were winning. We we actually did win. The, points, the, the, the scores were changed when your back was turned. Everybody went to sleep, but I changed the score. So leaky pins. Uh, we got eight. Whoa, nice. Yeah. Um, okay, here's here's the here's Kevin's team. We got five. Ooh. Okay, sorry, let's, Kevin. Let's hope that's the okay. Uh, Alan had a run in with the queen, just really s screwed it up. Uh, nine. Yeah. Oh, people hate you. Why do people hate you? Everything. Wow. Well, we didn't lose. <laughs> we got, we won. Yeah, yeah, we can do that for you. Last week, look at all these 40s that were last week. Look at the and high scores rub, there. Don't rub it in. Look at that. Wow. Apparently, Canadian Tire doesn't actually manufacture tires. Mm -mm. No, it does not. What? <laughs> No. Or are they Was more America of like a, a store just, chain that it's just, just sells a store. It's just it's a store. <laughs> it's Next week we'll do the, the blimps, the number one <laughs> blimp manufacturers in the world. <laughs> well done, Kevin. You got yeah, all it. All right, man. all right. You guys that was fun. Okay. Okay. I like that, Kevin. That was good. Good night, good night guys. I'm actually surprised you guys mentioned it. I thought it was kind of boring. Okay, okay. so I need a category and a bonus next week. I have Gail, Rob, and Peggy. So I need. 
I can always do a bonus, but it's going to be one of those cartoon character cats and stuff. And I don't know if you guys like those. Yay! Well, you <laughs> like them, I talked but you can about how to model rules correctly. by eliminating the more yeah, obvious I, ones. There's only a few left. Like that. I okay, will so volunteer for a regular category. Caspian is on. Nice. I need a bonus. Oh, I called you cast foam. <laughs> <laughs> My finger shifted off. I'll do the bonus. You will, Robin? Yeah, <laughs> I, I already have it. I already have it. Nice. I don't okay, even have to so think Peggy. it up. I already know it. Nag her, okay. All right, you guys. So <laughs> thank you so much for being here tonight. Um, sad night. Um, but um thank you again for being with us and being part of the team and, and hanging out. It's been a blast. Why is that a sad night? What did I miss? Oh, Larry oh. died. Larry. Oh, Larry what happened? Uh, he, fell asleep. he fell asleep. I thought you're gonna post on the website. Why don't we put something on the website from all of us and tell his family about that? Saying, I don't know how we'd get a hold of his family. What happened oh. to it? What happened? He fell asleep. Probably on a heart attack. They don't know. He just, just didn't wake up Tuesday. His, his son. When you're putting, putting it on Facebook, just put something on there from the whole Susan Trivia group. Oh, like okay. the, last, the last photo you have, Susan, he's in it with his cousin. And two weeks I did ago. some Google snoop or Facebook snooping. Adrian's friends with him on Facebook. I think I am too. One of the I most comforting things we can do is tell them that he's remembered. He's remembered. Yep. Okay, I'll try to come up with something sentimental and or sweet. Well, just that we miss him. Already. Yeah, we miss him, and it's from all of us. And I also want to put the yeah. playlist out there so that they can look at it when they're ready. Yeah, um, they can see him. Yeah, laughing. But or sometimes or snoring. And I, saying and saying smart stuff because he knew. Did he run a category? He must have done a category. I don't before. think he's ever done a category. Yeah. He no, he never did a category. No, he never did a category. Good night, guys. Good night. Good, Good night. night. Good night. Good night. Good night. How's George? George is good. He's getting fixed tomorrow, so he doesn't know he's about to be doomed. <laughs> oh, oh, poor George. Good night, everybody. Oh, George. Oh, Good night. Night. He'll be a better man for it. <laughs> George didn't know he was broken. Mm. Poor thing, he's getting fixed. All right, y'all. That's funny, Bob. Okay. Karen, Karen, we had so much fun on Sunday. That was awesome. Karen and I went to a Chi Chi fundraiser, a Democratic fundraiser event on Sunday. It was so Where much at? Fun. Uh, Carmel Valley. Oh, this is the oh, one yeah. with um, Glenn and Kathy. Uh, Glenn was there. I didn't see Kathy. I saw Glenn uh, shaking hands and stuff. I had but... a did, I had lunch with her on Sunday or Tuesday. I don't know. It was a different event. The Glenn fun, Glenn's fundraiser was different. This was the Democratic Women in Monterey County uh, Sustainability Event. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know he did. He was he did something Saturday and he did something Sunday because because uh, uh, Kathy was telling me about how busy they are. They that had Peruvian insane. food and really good music. I was the music. Oh, well, then it must have been excellent music. <laughs> All right, y'all. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good care. Good night. Nobody, good nothing happened to anybody. I don't Thank think I can you. handle it.